Testicles. Come on. Come on. Testicles. Come on. Testicles. Come on. Come on. Both of y'all grow up. <laughs> <laughs> No, because hey, it's Christmas hey, in July. Hey, Jim. Testicles. I mean, what we you mean? Christmas Eve in July. We got a couple hours left till it's an official international holiday. Hey. I don't think they celebrate birthdays in, in France. Shit, they do. They celebrate birthdays in France. They do, and they love it. Monsieur. No, I don't think they celebrate. Birthdays. Yes. They don't celebrate July birthdays. Yes. Yes, they, they do. Especially so. celebrate. That's when the Eiffel Tower was built. Yeah. <laughs> they finished it in July because it was a celebration, bitches. <laughs> go, 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 go. Wait a minute, driving over here. I listen to Luke all the way over here. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's a Bacardi like it's, it's your birthday. birthday. Yeah, okay. What the fuck is it? It's your birthday. Oh. Yeah, the club. oh. Ah. I'm in the having sex, I ain't in the making love. She end up getting rubbed. Come on! Oh, oh, oh! So come give me a hug. Yes, I'll show a bitch. There's always dramas in the club. I want them to love me like they love pop. Like, how do they yo? They tell you I'm local. Oh, oh, shit, son. Ah. My money, money on my mind. mind. Got a meal like the deal. And I'm still on my grind. Feel my style. She feel my flow. A girlfriend with it. They ride. And they ready to go. Okay, yo. What the fuck? Yeah, the next sip. Yo. Well, right here. Keep playing with me. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't okay, make it I can hear it, but it felt like it needed to be turned up. You can hear it? I can hear it. It keep playing back and I don't forth. Know, it might be yet. It keep coming back and forth. Pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I hear this one clear as hell on my left. I, I came, came up and I ain't changed. There's nothing. With more than you hit. I thought that you'd be happy, I made it. Oh, that's enough of that shit. Nah, no, fuck it, I'm lying. No. If everybody bought a token to the good life, I was thinking ass nigga show. Oh, that ride. ride. Very coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let that motherfucker burn. I ain't concerned. Watch your money pile up. up. We can go upside your head with the pile up. I'm only doing this because we're recording early and it's my constituent's birthday. Air. That's the only reason why hey, I'm doing hey, it. Hey, hey. Bottle full of blood. If you need to take the blood. I'm the making love. So come give me a hug if you're in the getting rough. Uh. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hold up, hold yes, up. Yes, yes. Yes, Congratulations, yes. Congratulations, you two. And thank welcome. You, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, 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 welcome back to episode 41 of the Mr. Know-It-All podcast. I am your host, Mr. Know-It-All, a.k.a. Keith Saunders, b.k.a. Michael Voorhees, and a.k.a. Haiku, if you want to be rapper about it. Spit hot fire! Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Hide alongside of the, the, the now that's a whole uh, other question. You're behind the other four die lines. <laughs> <laughs> As you hear next to me, yeah. to my right is the birthday boy. Hey, nah. no. Woo. Who are you again? I am your boy, uh -huh. Mr. Rough Rider. Uh huh. Our right. 
Ruffy Hendrix, right. the general, Mr. I'm going in, but AKA point blank, period. I am Ruffy Jr. Ruffy Hendrix, I'm sorry. No, the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was the I, I said I was Ruffy. Oh, shit. You, you said, said Ruffy. I, I got the remix one time. I said uh, Ruffy General. Ruffy General? Ruffy General. Oh, shit. Ruffy General. He got a, he got a but, new name? Well, it really is. I am Ruffy Hendrix. All right. And, my, song. Okay. and, and, and to my left is, Hi. is my birthday is the twin. Birthday yeah. twin is the glowing, delectable young, young lady. Mm. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I forgot yeah. to talk about her dude last time. Yeah. If y'all saw it on YouTube, yeah, Kelly got a new dude. Yeah. What's your name, she young lady? She's slinging it. The birthday dance. Oh uh. shit. Kelly Q. Yeah. K Q. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And especially tomorrow, mm. not any other time. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> when? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. tomorrow. Night. Epic midnight. When midnight hits. It's when midnight hits. Tomorrow. It's on the pop. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, going to hate you. That that is craziness. That is craziness. So, 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 so. We on so. birthday behavior. I know, I know. But you know, we before, up in the club in the motherfucking. I don't have anything to drink. I don't have. I know. We, we I, unfortunately, this is a this, little bit of a sober, sober episode. Yeah, 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 a little bit right now. Cause somebody I got, gotta drive listen, out of I town. Got, I got, I got, I got to go on the road to go see. I got to go see Big Bro. Big Bro and Big Bro just turned forty. You know what I mean? A couple weeks ago. So mm -hmm. we went surprise him after his. So I'm gonna go down so I can bring mine in with. Yeah. Mm, sounds like some fuckery's going on down there. Today's my cousin's birthday, so happy birthday to her. She just turned. 40, so oh, happy shorty. birthday, cousin! Happy, happy birthday, birthday her. cousin! Not even on a solemn note, because you know it's my it was a great woman. My grandma's birthday was a day. Grammy! So, so, so happy heavenly happy birthday to happy Grammy. heavenly happy. birthday, Grace Grace Grace, Grace said, hey. Grandma Grace. Grace for Clarice Wilson Brown. What did you know about? Grammy. Grammy. That was Happy Grammy. heavenly birthday, Grammy! Grammy. Y'all, you gotta love that. You gotta yeah. love that. But check it out. What's Let that? me give it to you. Shout outs real quick. Let's uh -huh. get to it. Shout out to the Spotify listeners. Uh -huh. Apple Podcast listeners. Yep. Yep. Google Podcast listeners. Talk to Stitcher listeners. Yep. Anchor listeners. Home team. YouTube viewers. What's up? Of course. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you living? All right. Make sure that you check us out on Instagram at Mr. Underscore Know It All Underscore Pod. Uh -huh. Get with us on the Facebook fan page, Mr. Know It All Podcast fan page. A lot of fuckery there. And, yeah, it's a lot of fuckery. It's a lot of fuckery. And we still waiting for y'all to... I've been a lot of it. Yeah, you, you do. Yeah. I've been chilling. I haven't been starting it. I've just been... I just, I've been in the shadows. I've been in the shadows in the Facebook page. Yeah. You, you know it's you notice I'm there. I see, I see your you likes and everything, but he don't comment. I've been, I've been on the, I've, just be, he, I've been chilling. He just like it so that when somebody comments, he can send it. You ever seen somebody put a soliloquy on there? They be like looking for answers and shit? Like yeah. when she put a little relationship question, I don't understand why niggas. I be like, yo, ma, who the fuck Ooh. is you? Why are you stabbing like this? Because if that oh was the God. case, you would send all your fuckery, duckery, and schmuckery to the email. To the email. God damn. Yeah. That's what we is. have an email for. Mr. Know it all pod at gmail.com. That is Mr. Know it all pod at gmail. Yeah, I can. I mean, I mean, if that was the case, they would send, send it. that fucker. I just don't. I, I'll never send understand it. It wasn't. Nothing. Stop telling me and stop telling him and stop mm -hmm. telling her. Don't yeah, inbox us. Yeah. Well, nobody's telling me. Oh, nobody tells you to fuck me. No, they, no, just be nobody, trying, they just be trying. You know, they, 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 they be trying. They trying to hop, hop on that fishing line. But you know, she hit the big rods out the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. We got to talk about. We got to talk about that. We ain't got to talk about that. Uh, Nah, she don't want to talk about I would like to talk about that. I want to talk about that just for a little bit. I know I want to talk about that for a little bit. She want to talk about that. She's somebody's out there fishing and whatnot. She, I, nobody was she, out there fishing. Oh, you was definitely fishing. You were mm. setting the trap. You was setting the trap, the trap trap of Kelly, all traps. I Kelly, set the trap, Kelly, but I didn't hear Kelly, the bait. Sis, I was about to okay. say. I was okay. exactly. I was about to say. But you, but you not the, wearing the, the, the bait. You had the t-shirt dress with the slits on the side. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. That's the trap. That's the bait. Yeah. That is the bait. Baiting. That is the bait. So yeah, I'm strutting like the bait. Uh -huh. Alright, but check this out. We always start off with the useless fact. Talk to him now. Uh -huh. I'ma hate a little bit. The useless fact is that it still leaves my fuck's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up! I don't even 
even understand like how did we run into this. It's not like I've been saying happy birthday for the past three weeks now. But we're still doing well, with COVID, no, no, so we, we still we, can't well, do it as big as we supposed to. We recorded early this week, yeah, we so did. we recorded two in one week. Yeah, so that's we true. Yeah. We that's true. Yeah. yeah, we didn't. We didn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, but I guess and, it's, and it's better better to knock it out now than you know what I'm saying. You mad about saying happy birthday twice or twice or crazy, man. You know what I mean? No matter what, y'all gonna make this whole turn. Hold up, sorry. That's what we tell your show is gonna be about us. Somehow, somehow. <laughs> Did you see his no, face? No. Yo, he almost choked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he almost no. choked. <laughs> no, this this show is definitely gonna be about Kelly though. We got some no. shit to talk about when it comes to Kelly. Um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but check this out. Um, before we get into the current events and the world's fuckery of offering, um, yeah, we know about the people. Oh yeah, about them people and whatnot over there at Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Mm -hmm. Been giving wood out since uh, what, 2018? Hey, Jim. What you did? <laughs> Pause. Not me. Oh, what? That's your towel. Oh, my towel. Oh, yeah. So it don't soak through and electrocute me. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go, Stay Flyers. Welcome back, Flyers. This the only. I uh, listen. I got my eagle shit behind the yeah. thing. Don't get it fucked up. What we do around. I think this is the only sports that we're gonna be able to watch. Baseball is, is, is starting. Basketball back on. Yo, why they why they do mo uh, uh ball ball like that, yo? Who? Yo, they drug test that motherfucker because he had because he had a great game, yo. Who? They drug test. Oh, my new ball son. Oh yeah, well, he's losing 16 points. Yeah. Uh, like uh, nine boards. They drug test. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's like who who can do that? They need to test he's, these. He's, he's seven seven. Like, what do you expect from him? They need to he test these niggas for the clap. Uh 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 uh. Girl, uh, uh, these niggas are sneaking. Uh, uh, they they uh, uh, sneaking uh, uh, chicks into the bubble. Did you see? Did you hear about that? Course. They trying to sneak bitches into the bubble, they, bro. They, they, That's they, crazy they shit. They said they trying to, you know. They like, look, they need what they I need. Only, I can't, you know what? I guess I ain't supposed to they talk about stuff release. like that right now. No. No, 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 our dad we is need in, about a month or two. Yeah, man. man. He's in the midst of some fuckery. And unfortunately, ah! it's not what we talk Fuckin about. Fucking with my right. birthday party, man. Yeah, I know. Fuckin it's not with my birthday party. <laughs> not, not what we fucking with. It definitely the fuck is, yeah. Can, can I, mean, I please yeah. talk about Blue Chew? Can I please talk about Blue Sorry. Chew? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Check this out. I'm going to give you the same spew. You, you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's an L in it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Blue Chew offers you the same active ingredients as in Viagra and Cialis at a fraction of the price in a chewable form. It's prescribed online, so that means you can get on there and talk to your doctor or talk to their doctor to you know get cross references and all that. And it's shipped to your door discreetly. You can cancel anytime. It's no gimmicks and no lock-ins. And if you listen to the Mr. Know It All podcast and you want to go on there and you want to use my promo code, which is going to get get you one month free of of this product, which you want, you definitely want because you know listen, man, who ain't fucking? Everybody fucking. You know what I'm saying? Why not have some of the best fucking? Shut the fuck up. Have some of your best fucking on Blue Chew. This is, you know what I mean? Is, oh my God. Check it out. Just go to chewitdoit.com backslash know it all. That's chewitdoit.com backslash know it all. And if not, if you don't want it, that is. I might even need to make some of that. Yeah, you it. Okay. Yeah, you can mix it today. And if you do, if you don't feel like doing that, just go to bluechew.com and type in the promo code know it all. It's all one word. Don't try to type in three, four words. Know it all is one fucking word. You know how us black folks do. Thank you for Bluetooth. Pop your Bluetooth and get busy. Start getting going. What you? What the fuck? Come on, dude. Get out. Chew and get the going. Exactly. Chew and get the going. No, chew and get the going with the Bluetooth stroke. Chew and get the going. Chew and get the going. Chew and get the going with the Bluetooth stroke. What? Didn't I say that? Uh huh. Yeah. She didn't learn. Uh huh. She didn't learn. Poof. Well, oh, well, oh, oh, so you want y'all? That's what y'all want to lead off with. Y'all want to lead off with the girl Because yeah. yeah. first and foremost, I only saw pictures. I didn't read the whole article. Oh, article. So, you didn't see the video. No, you didn't see the video. Oh, oh where is she shit. at? Where was she located? I don't know where she, she was. Chicago. 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 So, so what happened? So it was so in Chicago. All, it was so in Chicago. All the is going it was Chicago. Chicago. It was Chicago. 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 Our art excited birthday people. Our art excited birthday people. One at a time. One of you motherfuckers tell me what the hell happened. Y'all like y'all like no no she did it she did it tell me one at a time. How the fuck this happened? Kelly, get her. She um, was destroying her boyfriend's car. She poured gasoline in the car. Mm -hmm. In the back window, I believe she had smashed out. Right, right. She leaned inside. Uh -huh. She dropped the match inside oh, while shit. she was still leaning. 
inside. <laughs> that big bird don't fuck. Edges so, and hoe ass at the same damn time. <laughs> so you do remember in, in Waiting to Exhale. Yes. When, when Angela Bassett set that car on fire. Yes. The car went up like that. Yeah. But she got blown into the car that was right next to it. Hold up. So hold up. She got, hold up, exploded and she got knocked into another car? Right. She got it, knocked into another car. It was, it was, it was that big girl and some man, Meek Mill joint. Woof. <laughs> There go the roof. And then she like she <laughs> go crawled away. She 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 was trying to get away yeah. and she crawled away. She crawled so away. So whoever was videotaping it was like a neighbor videotaping like, watch what this bitch is doing. And and she crawled away. But that I mean they arrested her yesterday. Yo, didn't you send me something on um I thought I sent you the draw. Uh, you no, know, you sent me another thing. What is with all these crazy ass women in the summertime? Did you did you I seen something earlier I, I, with a girl, I guess she caught a boyfriend cheating. That was he the, saw her was, running up to the well, thing no, and she yanked the fucking screen door. And she he locked oh. the screen door behind her. And this bitch grabs the handle and leans all the way on it and yanks the whole screen door the fuck off. Oh, the entire one, door. Probably one of them little old screen doors. Yeah, the people that was the grandma people. told you. No, no, that shit was a pretty oh, good. Oh, it was a whole nah. like, like it was a nice nah. little. She got on her crazy oh, home. Yeah, that was a nice. She she ripped that shit off the hinges, Kelly. She oh like the, the back came off the, like she the, on that ooey? the non opening part though she just leaned the whole body and weighed into it that's that fucking I'm capping niggas heads that up. was that was Michael Blackson baby mom that two hundred fifty dollars yo she got <laughs> she got she, 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 but she damn sure wasn't one sixty five you know how yeah. women is everybody one sixty five bitch you at least two ten stop playing ain't nothing wrong with you being two ten she no, leaned all she leaned all that two ten right into that door and fell and then she fell down the steps with the door in her hand and then oh the people goodness. the people was like yo what the fuck is going on? like god then she got up and then ran at the door started kicking in the door i'm like yo damn yeah man I'm, i was no, scared no, for no. him you, you skip listen skip yeah i wow. know she because she definitely would have fucked him up if i'm if i gotta rip the door off to come get you then guess what the fuck is happening next <laughs> pretty pretty <laughs> much <laughs> um dmx versus snoop yeah. Yo, Talk, man, baby. I yo. wanna say that was the best best verse concert. Yes. That, yo, it was it was I've a whole concert. I was like, if that was even when life goes back to normal, if we ever get life back to normal. Don't do that. that. We are gonna get if, life back if to normal. That was niggas a concert, will make life go back like, to normal. Like if that was a concert, that right, niggas right. trying to make that's why this shit is getting I crazier. Know. Like I was on the phone, me and my best friend stayed on the phone watching it mm -hmm. for as long. I mean, she, she's a Zeta, so she started party walking in her house. She's like, we everybody had a walk to this. I said, I'm up party walking. I don't belong to no story. No. I was like, this, this was the song, but like every song they played. All right, so yeah. let me give a rundown of how I saw it. I saw it 11 9 Snoop, but this is how I saw it. Snoop had the first three, four rounds, hands down. Right. X made a slight surge, kind of got back, but then probably got two in a row. Snoop pulled away a little bit later on. Then X had went on like a At tear, like like toward like yeah in the break. I X started bringing them break. bangers out. Yeah. When X boy stopped being greedy out, I yeah. said, "See, this is what the fuck I was waiting on. Right. I was waiting for X. First and foremost, let's 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 call it call it like it is spade a spade. What did I say last week about if X all real X got to do is start playing this dark and hell is hot? Yeah, cause that but see that's what he led with. That, 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 that was that's what he led with. But the but the whole he album, with the intro. The intro played, the intro was that work, but yeah, he played at least at least eight nine cuts from a dark is dark and hell is hot. Yeah. That matter of fact, those was all his points to me. I right. think it was eleven no, and nine. No, mine is the first one because he didn't get a point for the first one. What was the first? Oh, the first no, one. because he put it up against Jen and Juice. I told you. No, he, he can't. can't he did that first. Jen and Juice. You can't put nothing yeah. against Jen and Juice. The fucking Snoop came but I out. Talk, well, I said it in the group. Yeah. Uh -huh. That it was going to be what's my name versus what's my name. What's my name? You did say that. But that. But no. Like, and it hit me because I forgot. Like I knew Snoop had you know what's my name. Right. And I kept thinking. I was like, wait a minute. Didn't DMX have what's, what's my? I was like, oh, that's so. Be which one hit harder, right Snoop? What's my name? No, or DMX, DMX was like, what's my name what? hit harder for me, for me. Snoop, because, he, because Snoop, that was that was that shit. That was that was that was shit. Was that was Snoop this started thing. singing his "What's My Name." Yes. Okay, what's my name is the shit that I'm gonna hold it. Yeah, yeah. When he starts doing that, what's my name? DMX, DMX. now be the best. You see the best. You're like the best. Not or not. That is just like. Yeah. I don't know. That's like so the pinnacle ask, of my college let, let me ask party question. time. Let like, me ask y'all a question. Huh? 
I say this is the first one that I ever say take this shit on the road. This they have to go to yes. that do that do it. Yes. It gotta be the dog and dog tour. Yes. This shit yeah. would that, that, be that the dog. So, I don't even so like concerts right. like that, but I definitely yes, will fucking go to that. Oh my I God. would I would I would pay the I would pay for close seats. I would it play for front exactly. row seats yes. for some shit. If they like had that. backstage passes, I'd be like, man, how much is that? Yeah. Right. Now I'm saying yeah. like honestly this shit is yeah. that's some serious that's shit. What man. I posted during during the show I posted on Facebook like I feel like I'm at the best concert I ever yeah. been to. That shit. I was like this yeah. takes me so back to like all my good times and it's crazy because each 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 song, DMX song, Snoop song, everything means something different. Right, everything right, right. Everything hits different. Right, right, absolutely. So to have those different feelings yeah. hitting like simultaneously, going back and forth, is just like. It's you know a what? Whole all right, all right. This how this how this the feeling that you get. Snoop is what you say to the girl when you're trying to get the pants. X is what you say to After the girl. You no, know, while you get the pants. What's my name? DMX. <laughs> Looking like they need a rest. Ah! You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta say, what's my name, baby? Yeah, that's the Snoop. Snoop is, that's Uncle Snoop. Uncle Snoop is cool. Like I said. Yeah, it's the Pippin. He's going, what you call it? But X is what you say, why you get You know what I'm saying? Like, the two drunk uncles at the barbecue. I was like, them the two are drunk uncles that's best friends. Yes, at the barbecue. At the barbecue. That's the only. Them the two family members that give a fuck about what nobody else is talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else beefing and shit. They like, yeah. Out, man, okay. we chill. Yeah, we gonna we gonna go to the club at this. Fuck this yeah. barbecue. You know what I'm saying? And then they hang out with the niece and nephew. Hey nephew, uh -huh. where, where, where the where the the spot at tonight? You like yeah, I mean, I kept got, like yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. Absolutely. Got to be about five years older than me. I'm still sitting there calling him Uncle Snoop. Listen, Snoop, that's who he is. He's Uncle Snoop. That's Uncle Snoop. He Uncle Snoop. Like. Yeah. That's that show was crazy. That 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 was a great, great that, all the I way think by far feeling. And then the fact with both of them there in the same room, it was like, yo. And we have to thank Benny and um uh 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 about uh, not uh uh how the fuck Benny and um Elephant Man. Bouncy Keller. No Bouncy Keller. Bouncy. Yes. We gotta thank them for starting the, that in the same room. Yes. Yeah. Part. Keep going, keep going, but, keep going. Um, I just want to make sure that this all this I, shit is I think since that one, since they've been doing it in the same room. Just watch, watch it cool. That has to be We still recording on YouTube. No, because was, was, kiss was Kiss and Fab, Kiss and Fab, they was, was they in the same room? Who? Kiss and Fab. Yeah. They was? Yeah. See, I didn't, I still, I, every, I still every, watch it. Everything since um, Beanie and Bounce has been in the same Bounty, room. Bounty, Bounty, yeah, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, that's not you. No, Joe Scott and uh, everybody. But Joe Scott wasn't. was the one before that. Was before. Them. That was before. Joe that was Scott before was being about to kill him. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, they so were I, back to back. They were back to back. I think that I, what, one thing that I did notice is that it was at Snoop Cred. First and foremost, I want to give it up to Snoop. I want to give it up to Snoop. I want to give up to Snoop for being. I want to give it up to him for being a real, just a real nigga. Like he, 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 uh, a real OG. He really, he really, 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 like he opened his, opened his crib to X and whatnot. You know, X is in recovery, so you know the, the big thing about X is. Open with a prayer. Yeah, I'm saying like it's just one of them things. Where, like, like he, it don't like, like when you, it's, it's just genuine love. When you got right. love for your peoples or whatnot, and you respect what they've done in this business and in life, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You, you give them a different type of respect. So by him being, just being around and being saying mm -hmm. to himself like, you know what, I want you to be here. You know what I'm saying? And rock with me, Snoop. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, uh, and X, uh, and, and X yeah. was. And X, you know what it is. Uh, one thing I like about I like sober X because because he he's, he's X, but he ain't got to be the over the top X. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's, it's yeah yeah. Now right right. <laughs> Listen. You know what the happiest thing I'm seeing that nigga eat that gut. That nigga, that, nigga, that nigga got the gut. I'm I, like, I you know what? I respect. I was trying to describe it to my girlfriend because she was looking for it. Right. I was like, and I'm telling you now. I was like, X thing got fat. Yeah. She's like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, no, X yeah. is built. I was like, he looked like Rev Run dude right now. Yeah. I was like, he in a good space. Got a good yeah. space. Got a dad yeah, body. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Got a nice little dad body chilling. He, he like, said, I shout out all my baby homies. Yeah, I'm saying, y'all, I'm all. Yeah. And then he said, what he, what he said that was funny too. He said, um. The nigga said, he's like, yeah, yeah, we want to. No, show, uh, me, a nigga, show, show me a motherfucking million views on the motherfucking screen right now. Yeah, exactly. Show, show, show me a motherfucking million views. Or, 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 or when they said, when, when, he, when he played. It's uh, like this motherfucker keep coming up with bullshit numbers. When he, when, he play, about numbers. when he played Get At Me, dog, he said, man, I normally take my shirt off, but you know, yeah. see what's going on, whatnot. 
Let us get 9 million views and, and, and X take his shirt off, then I take my shirt off. You said, you like your number 10. 10. I, said, yeah. I said, I love this shit right here, man. Wait, I think it's been, especially since the, the Teddy Wiley, um, <laughs> The debacle. Teddy face, oh, look, look. The, 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 the Teddy, debacle. the debacle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, that, the energy mm -hmm. has been different. Okay. Because it's no longer, it's a versus, yeah. but it's not a competition. I, I understand that. What whatever what happened with the 50 Cent and T.I.? It just didn't. It they, didn't. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 wasn't 50 ever a board. They thought that they could, first and foremost, you're not going to beat 50 Cent. 50, 50 don't play. He, is he doesn't play nice no, with others. No, that's right, the whole no, thing. No, he doesn't play. No, yeah. He doesn't like to be baited. He'd rather be the baby. Right, right, yeah. right, right. If he right, doesn't, right. If yeah. he, and, 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 and so. And then, then T.I. knows that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Knows and that's that. the whole but, thing. See, the thing about it is. Because he's a master. <laughs> grow, up, grow, up, grow up. Now grow it's up. my birthday tomorrow. Grow up. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> What? What's wrong with being masturbator? Tony said what you say about T.I. I forgot what else was about to show me her blowing his fucking car. Yo, yes, that video is a fuck. Yo, why, why? You see her ass, right? Dumb ass. Oh my gosh, she's dumping a, a, a gas can in the jar. No, no, listen, listen. What? That shit is the, yeah. Oh, no. You see the yeah. car on fire, right? Whoa, what is she doing? Why is she still around? But that's what she ran, ran away. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, hey, real, 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 real special <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> she blew it up and then she tried to crawl away. Oh my That's gosh. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, People are stupid. Yeah, it's like we're, since, we're, since, since Teddy and, and <laughs> Babyface, <laughs> that was just a really... Oh shit. <laughs> no, you didn't see what no, no, you gotta see, you have to see right, but was her, her blow the shit up. Right, because no, she no, falls no, back. Her get blown the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said, let me see. Yeah, because I haven't seen her get blown into the car yet. Wait a minute. Pause. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's a her. She, she can't get Yeah, it's a her. Yeah, and, and, and this is all because. Oh, shit. <laughs> yo, this is all because she called her boyfriend cheating. That's why. That's what. She called her boyfriend cheating. So she. <laughs> oh, this bitch spirit. <laughs> you know. But again, you. Yo, this is. And it's like 10 different versions on YouTube. Because everybody heard the commotion. They was like, yo, get your phone right now. Get your camera phone right now. The shit is going down. Um, yo, so <laughs> we supposed to be getting a new stimulus package? Yeah, uh, is that tomorrow? No, is it next? Is it when, when is that shit coming? Uh, uh, are they passing the bill? What's happening? I, I have no discussing. idea. I don't know. They're discussing. They're discussing. Oh, that, I think it was today. I think today when they were supposed to be discussing that. They were supposed mm. to be voting on that today or something like that. Correct. Mm. Um, and the last thing that I saw concerning it. Right, right. Um, but. Shit, nigga, I still get the first one, so. Um, yeah. But I know what. But I no, from what I saw, this is what I heard. So I, heard. Do I, well, I hope that just means I'll get two. I heard through the grapevine nice that, 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 that it's that is twelve hundred per person. I can, I can live with that. that, that, that so it's not just like before it was twelve hundred, and then you get the five for the, you get the five for the kid. Now see, it's, I'll clean on mine. But it's twelve hundred per person. I clean. I clean. I clean one of them. I clean my teenager. Yeah, there you go. That 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 nice yeah. little that I nice little twenty four. Twenty four left until they, my death. They 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 that's the that's the round that I missed. That's why they thought. Okay, yeah. now I get on that. YouTube. So you yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you go back and watch all of them. Mm -hmm. I, I pulled it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you that particular verses knocked the balls in my ass. Because I could not move. I pulled it up. You have to TV. Oh, you got to elaborate. Rewind. Yeah, yeah, I was getting ready. I was getting ready to elaborate. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, yo, what the fuck? No, what, you gotta say what you just said again. And knock the not pause a, in my ass. Knock a pause in your ass. You, you know how you, you be crying your and, and your mama hits you? Oh, and you, you go, hey! Uh, uh, I could not move. I could not move. Once once the show started, because I pulled it up on my TV. Mm -hmm. Once it started, oh, yeah. I could not move from where I was at because I was so transfixed yeah. on Snoop and, and, and DMX. And it was just like... This is my music. 
This is my shit right here. The, shit, the, crazy, good. the crazy shit is when you put it up, I was getting my hair done. Uh -huh. I was getting my locks retwisted up. Um, and so I, I forgot what time, and I wasn't even registering what time it was because I'm not sure how many L's we were in at the time. Because um, they was just going, listen, man, we, listen, we was, playing, we was playing tennis. We was playing tennis. I ain't going to hold you. It, was some, it, was, it, it seemed like Wilmington where your motherfucking matches was for you, did. Oh, a whole lot of green. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> but, um, oh shit. So when we actually turned it on, it right. just went off. Okay. So I didn't want to see who won anything. Right. right. So we started watching it because um, I didn't get my cut. My cousin was there too, so I get my hair cut as well. Right. And then she finished the rest of the, you know what I mean? So I, that was the benefit because I had hairdresser, uh, uh, lock, speci lock specialist, product specialist for my hair, as well as Barbara, all together at the same damn time. So, you know, it was yeah, like. The only thing you missing was getting a fucking foot ride. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. But I was at Broad House, you know, that shit don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we, 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 we put that joint, I was like, yo, the joint on, uh, check it out, go online, I guarantee it's still my version. Put yourself. Pulled that shit right up, and I was like, oh, that, we in the party. Like, shit, I gotta go home. Fuck. Sorry. Like, that, that was my college party. All yeah. day. Yeah. Like, that would Definitely. have been Definitely. my ideal. Especially when fuck the mother niggas. I, knew, right. I that, knew that shit was going to come That's what we party walked to. That's what we party walked to in the house. Was, everybody party walked to. I knew that was that coming. Is a, that, that is a that is a party song. On. That is a forever party song. I knew that was yeah. coming on. I said, this nigga's going to, he, he's going to play that. Even though, you know, this is the thing that kind of makes me mad. I love both of them and whatnot, but when they do the features, I think it pisses me off that they don't play the whole song because to me their verses on them wasn't, wasn't my favorite verses. Right. Like on that fucking fuck these other niggas, you know what I'm saying? The, I don't, uh, C Murder, C Murder, C his, his lead what, verse. Was it was it C? No, was it oh, C Murder? Uh, 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 was it was it Fiend? You fucking with a grown man? I be the whack you in your house and embarrass you on your own land. <laughs> Yo, I uh, yo you understand how scared to come get yo that shit get niggas hype. I'm like yo, but uh, Ooh. and then um, I don't, I don't even need anybody to rap on fucking my kids. For, for, for me. You think you can do it? All, all I need is. That's all I need. Yeah, oh. see, got me. I done, yeah, me, just sparked it up, then got the move. Just Hold got up. me, got me in the chair, bouncing over here, oh, bouncing. Lord. Feel like mystical, bouncing. Look, <laughs> Keep bumping me against the wall. As soon as I got in the car <laughs> to drive over here today, uh, I pulled up YouTube. I pulled up Luke, it's your birthday. Oh! And I listened to that at least three times straight driving here. Loud as hell. Uh huh. Cause why? Who? Like, who I gotta figure out what the fuck. Who the hell that? sings that? Who? Who's? Whose song is that? That's uh. C Murder. That's C Murder yeah. song. That's yeah. C Murder song. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Cause if y'all wanna, since hey. y'all wanna fucking you know what you call it, cause I, I might have to play that for. So I might. We might have to groove out for a minute. Cause it's a birthday. Yeah. Thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, hold on one second. Although YouTube, we sorry, y'all ain't gonna hear this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> but you can look it up. Yo, you know what? You know how we think. But y'all know the song. I'm gonna keep you on beat with it too. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh man, I think that you know what's funny. I think that um, I think that YouTube sometimes they be looking at us like we got six fucking heads. They be like, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what the fuck is they dancing Hold to? Up. Let me see. Y'all trying to do shit? I told you about this before. Yes. Those are the ones you, you had, you wanted to share, but you... Alright, hold up, it's just... Oh, fuck the mother niggas, no. ah! Ah, da, ah! Da. Ah! Mother... Oh. Hold up! Hold up! Nigga, you knocking against the microphone, nigga! I die for my niggas, oh! Alright! Oh! With Snoop Doggy Dog! Put his name, name on the wall. Mr. Ma Whoa. That boy don't care. Boy, not your hat. Play. Any given time, any given way, make him bleed. It's a model that I live by. You fuck with me, it's, it's so a much you got. got. But the niggas, niggas can't hide. It's like shooting yourself. It's a suicide. Oh. This like soldier slam here put you in. Oh, 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 oh. I got. It. Oh my niggas. 
And guess what? Yo, did y'all, I never told y'all that we are in the top 50 in Tanzania for oh, podcasts. Not work. Not yeah. Tanzania? Hey. I know, I know, I know. What's going on, hey, Tanzania? I think like the top 100 in Ireland, they, they, they oh, fuck with us a little something. Yeah, they fuck with us a little something. So, shout out to them. My name is very Irish, but I'm a black girl, just to let y'all know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they can see that from, from the Well, if they watch. Yeah, that's, that's true, too. If they're in Ireland, they might not watch. Yeah, they might not watch. They might be listening. You might be absolutely right. What? I'm a very island motherfucker. Here's the, <laughs> so here's the deal or whatnot. Speaking of going Speaking all of, o- going all over the world, pipping all over the world and shit like that, right? The world. I came up with a motherfucking question. Hey, Jim, what's your question? A, I, hold on, listen, listen. What's your I'm question? Scared. Oh shit. I'm what's your scared. question, Bill? Between you and me. Yeah. What do we have to do to get Kelly Q married off sometime this year? It's hmm. a birthday. Hey, you know what's crazy though? She getting a little more she seasoned in the game. game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's she a woman played of a this game on Facebook, right? It but. said before the end of the year, she'd be pregnant. Whoa! Pregnant with opportunities. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> pregnant with possibilities. Ooh, Damn! Shit. Really? You mm. scared? You scared? Anything. But opportunities and possibilities to make this a money. I'm there birthing you go. more money, more opportunities, more blessings. Hey, Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the check. So, you but saw what I wrote. So, I'll sway out. So what do we have to Show do? Show me the money! So we've been talking about um, <laughs> putting, something, putting something together like like a contest like for the love of Kelly. For the love of Kelly? We, we, we have for to do love Kelly. We gotta do good to put the love. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta put that bone swag I gotta I gotta put that bone thug swag on. For the love of Kelly. That's why she <laughs> gotta get that money. Alright, but listen so so alright. Who wanna get some Kelly man? <laughs> <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Shit! It's a lot of them motherfuckers trying to get you know what? Listen, so, dropping so, out bottles of water and but no, shit. No, but seriously. One bottle of water popping out of an empty case and rolling to your cup. Oh, yeah. Divine intervention. Divine, yeah. The, divine hold up. Divine intervention. So, the, the so, so, real. so, so, Kelly, all right, so we were making fun of Kelly, but Kelly did some dangling the other day. You know what I'm saying? Caught a, caught a fresh little, got a nice little catch. But, um, see, so my thing is, did you tell, did you tell your catch about the podcast? Yes, I did. Oh, shit. So you catch, let me catch it. Talk about the podcast. I, I don't know if he's going to catch the podcast, but I did. I hope he does. I hope so. I, hope I would so. love for him to catch yeah, the podcast. Yeah, it would be nice for him to, you know. You got to just listen. know me. You got to entertain him. You got to entertain him. Because mm-hmm. if you entertain him, then he's going to definitely want to learn. Yeah. Well, you can tell me he won't learn all the time. He's like, there's something about you. I say, Whoa, Nelly! Is that gonna be the one? Within it all stars. Yo, let's stop. No, let's no, no, let's cut this board. Let's cut this shit out right now. That's the that's the bar. He's feeding the bars. He's feeding the bars, no, he's feeding the bars <laughs> for the as far as representative. So therefore, you got it. So it's cool to weed through the representative to understand what you're getting into. You know what I'm saying? He wants mass. You know there's a grown man. He, 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 yeah, yes, absolutely. She had a shirt dress say. with slits on. Of course he wants some ass. Of course. He wants some ass and thighs. He, he, listen, he, 
this shit. This is our, this is our sister. So, you know, he was looking at her like, well, shit. You know what? Fuck it. Just give me the whole hand. <laughs> give me the whole goddamn hand. Oh, I'll take man. it. So, so, so. I think, say, I think I'm up to the task. Oh. Oh shit. Yo, what? He yes, he sent me old balls. The fuck out. Really? Or is that actually old balls? So oh, let me ask you a question. Is he alright, so what is uh, alright? So, all, alright, so is the hairline intact? Mm -hmm. He is the Beijing, he got Beijing? Cocoa beans, anything in his beard? Mm -hmm. no, nothing like that? Little goatee. Little goatee. No is, is it gray? No. No, not gray? Uh -uh. Oh he be Beijing. Like I would have thought he was around my age. And it's uh and you said he looks like Winston Duke. Yes. Oh, she, she went for Mbaku. Let me tell you something. Shit. Uh, when I went to see... <laughs> she went for yes. When I went to see Black Panther. Uh oh. No, don't do that. Don't do that. My wife, came, my wife did the same fucking thing. That shit no, is so disrespectful, yo. I went yo. with my son, though. Oh, that's not even And so even when he got on the screen, I was just like... That was the first time I ever saw him. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh, my God. And my son is like, what? I was like, that's just so you're not going to do for the rest of this movie is that. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just saying. That's your stepfather. You go, don't fuck the movie up for the boy. What is wrong with you? You don't do that. You just no. made your son dislike No, Michael because I had, I had and this, for, for life. I had to tap Shannon on the shoulder too. I'm sitting up there like, yo, and I hate talking about another man like this. You, all you hear in the crowd is like, mm. Like Michael B. Jordan, when Michael B. Jordan took it, he had all the fucking uh, uh, pimples on his chest and whatnot. All the, women the was, all the women was like, mmm. And then when Baku came out for the first uh, time, they were like, mm. I'm like, hold shit. the fuck up, man. I'm like, this supposed to be Wakanda forever. Y'all, y'all been went, getting y'all fucking rocks off. I went off. with my best friend. She's also a zero. Oh, so we're sitting next to each other, and I'm like, Oh, we got to tell a story about this. I was like, the, the I was like those are sigmas. Like, we're all picking out which particular African group is which uh, fraternity. Uh, so, Ibaka was the cues because mm -hmm. they came out barking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like, the blue ones. I was like, them the sigmas right mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said, we ain't got no capers in there. It's all good. No, none of them niggas like skin. None, none, none of them niggas like skin. Well, not so much like skin. It wasn't no pretty boys. Everybody was warriors. So. It was what it was, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm back to. Mm -hmm. So, what? So, here's the question. Mm -hmm. Do I have an answer? What would this man have to do? You get to, some draws? No, 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 I'm sorry. I don't, I, she want him more than he want her. That's real rap. Did you masturbate off him last night? No, don't do that. Don't, that's, nigga, we, no, her eyes are slurred as hell. Oh she my just God, Kelly! No, no. She just gave me an answer. No, 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 she no, got a debit card all. to the spank bank. Double tap! Double tap! <laughs> Double tap! Double tap! Oh, man. I'm done. I'm done. You have now had access to the man in the boat. <laughs> Next question. I'm so... Yo. I'm sorry. It's I'm ball. asking, though. Okay, so what would he have to do? Like, okay, if you could plan, now, and I hate to put women in this position because yeah. women are always planning for the next step. Mm -hmm. What would this man have to do in order from now on to do everything that leads to a path of success in your relationship. Like, like a full-fledged relationship to where it's two years from now, this he is yours, you are his, and y'all together. Yeah, the question's got a little deep, didn't it? No, I'm, I'm give me the thing, I'm asking. Um, it also compiles up what you need to do to make sure that this 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 goes the right way. Right. So that's why I'm well, asking. Well, when we talk, when we look back at the last couple of episodes, and I talk about the apologies that I've done. Right, right, right. And just that growth, because I was like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I've been mm -hmm. told to do this, so I'm going to be obedient to God. Okay, okay. I told him about that. Oh. Wow. She just be So real quick, like, okay. Him so, talk, like, so how far do you think this about, will go? How far do you think this will go? I am not going See, to I don't want to do that. See, no, I don't no, want to do that, though. How, how I'm, far, I'm, I'm not going sorry. to make the mistake I've made in Wrong the past question. and not... Wrong question. Wrong question. Okay. okay. How far would you like this to go? 
Well, you already know what she was like. We know. Every, I think everybody. I think. I'm everybody talking about beyond the bedroom. No, that's not what I'm talking so about. So you, 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 you would like for this to be possibly a permanent fixture. Of course, life. yeah, yeah. But everybody, like every. Every night he comes to you. I, <laughs> I told him that's who you look like. Yo, I guarantee you, like I get you the first he time he feels comfortable having sex with you, he's gonna fuck around the bar. I swear to God. I swear to God. When is the last time? When is the last time a man has not been comfortable having sex? Nah, it, no, no, there's levels. No, there's, there's no. I'm talking about there's levels. There's gonna be having there's sex, levels. and then there's gonna be making love. There, and there's, there's, there's gonna be. You know, listen, there, you're married. So, you know, it's not nothing else. Having um, sex and making love, man, all it is is grinding and no, stuff. I'm, 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 talk, talk talk I'm not even talking about that. Oh, okay. I'm not even talking about that. Right. right. Um, what I'm actually talking about is comfortable enough with the person you're having sex with okay. to, to, to do whatever the fuck. Oh, to, to let all, to, to, let, to, to to let all your inhibitions, you know, because, you know. But that's what somebody gets to know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks. So, that, but see, no, all right, all right, see, but we're avoiding with you because you still okay. not answering the question. Don't well, make, he don't, keep interrupting my don't, question. Don't matrix me today. I'm not in the mood for the I shit. I thought it was open. It's your birthday. He Let's, cut me off. I thought it was open. Oh, all right. He so, cut me off. yeah, no, you're right. But I'm saying, what, what would, would he take? have to do? No, no, what would it take? What, what would it take? What would it take? Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish your. Y'all haven't had a first date yet, so right. walk me through from the first date process. Mm -hmm. From from the call to the first date to what would look like a year down the line, and then what it would look like within two years. Um. I mean, of course, this is hypothetical in a perfect world, but exactly. I'm I'm asking it for just for the talking purposes. Yes, yeah, for talking purposes. We want a podcast, of right? Course. Mm -hmm. Um, I think in being incorporated into my life as well as being incorporated into his life yes. and not just I think that's the mistake I've made okay in the past where right. like I have a relationship but that's exactly what it is it's my relationship okay and I haven't introduced him to my son maybe he met my mom once you know just not being fully engulfed in my life okay okay so okay. To allow someone to be fully engulfed in my life, to meet my son and have a relationship with their that I'm comfortable, you know, with them being in my house. Right, right, and right. And just, I think being able to just shed my inhibitions and to just be comfortable. All right, so, in, so in all that I am. All right, so he and pulls not up. hiding anything. He pulls up. He pulled y'all. Y'all make a call. Y'all talk to Santa third. Apparently, y'all got a lot of comment because you had a whole hour talk. I don't. Ain't a lot of people in the world I can talk to for a whole hour. But hey, um, boom. So you did that. So us? all right. He okay. calls you and says, "All right." Us? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I said it's not a whole lot of people. God damn. Y'all still people. I get it. I get along with Leos. I, I don't human, know why. I am not a human being. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. So all right. So he pulls up. What kind of car? Um, you, has, you, ain't, you ain't gotta say the color, you ain't gotta say the Oh, just, no, no, no. You say the, the no, mate. he has a uh, Grand Cherokee. Ooh, adventurous. Alright, so he pulls up Grand Cherokee. I don't like no. He said we're going out to, uh. <laughs> he said we going, he said, look, check this out. Um, he told me he's a protector. I'm gonna take. <laughs> oh, yeah. He got kids? He got kids? I'm in. Take he was joking. I know. That's what it he's, a, he's a protector, a hunter, and a pounder, apparently. But that, uh, yeah, that's guess. Let's get busy. You no, know, he only had five bullseyes. Yeah, because if you got you got grandkids, he definitely had early yeah. kids. But all right, so so boom, he pulls up. He's a big right, right, exactly. grandkids. He pulls up. Does he open the door? Yeah. Okay, he opens the door for him. Where, where do y'all go on the first date? All right, he pulls up. Fuck it, I'm, I'm, what you call? I'm him. Now, he pulls up. Bow. Uh -huh. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you looking great. Blah blah blah. You right. know what I'm saying? You know everything is everything. We continue our conversation. We get in the car. Where we going? Friday. Okay. Really? That's that's cool. Yeah. All right, all right. We going to Friday. We gonna get the two for twenty. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Five hour Long Island? No, I only drink Long Island. You don't know how to drink all Long Island? Uh, all right, all right, uh, $8 Henny Punch? 
Nah. You don't need none of that? Alright, so you did. Give me my I'll, margarita or my martini. I'm straight. Alright, margarita a little steep. Let's go to Applebee's. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Absolutely I'm just, why? I'm just, I'm saying. Let's go to Applebee's. Okay. They got dollar, mar they got dollar margaritas. Okay. All right, so we rocking. Like, here, here's the thing. Men doing she that. She ain't worried about that. Mm -hmm. She's first, not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Men do, first, like, like I said, he got five kids. Right. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Are we going out, or are we going out to have a good time? I can have a great time. At Applebee's right. with dollar margaritas, just like I have a great time at McCormick and Schmidt's with you know twenty dollar steak. Okay. It's not about what you're McCormick, buying me. Twenty dollar steak. Yeah. What fucking cheese steak you buying at McCormick and Schmidt's? Well, whatever. Like for $20. I'm just saying. <laughs> that I'm shit just is saying. that shit is like eighty dollars a steak. But go ahead. Depending we'll do on it. what you want. Exactly. But um. I've never paid going here, so I don't know. But, um... You know what? Then that's what... You know what? Here's the deal. And I, the reason why I point this out or whatever is because I want this to kind of be a message to the younger females out here, the way that they move. Right. Because I think that we got the, the game all misconstrued. You're right. trying to get to know this man for who he is, regardless of what it is. And that's because y'all are grown grown. Right. So it's there's a difference. These young bucks is out here, well, I'm not dating him unless he take me here. I'm not dating him unless he take me there. Like that's it, not it's not the move. And, and you know what I'm gonna tell you. The important thing about mm -hmm. going out with him, whether it be Applebee's, whether it be uh, what, um, Chris Steakhouse. Yes, right, right. Is when I'm sitting down across the table from him, uh -huh. am I getting to know him? Okay. Okay, right. The same token, because I've been, been this chair, I've been that chair. Okay. On the same token, he could be trying to take me to these places. Right. To see how I react. To all the taking time. me this place. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's the game. That's the game. The, at, at the end of the day or whatnot, I think that and that's that's another big thing that a lot of these the, the young bucks out here and whatnot, because I fear for my daughter. Right. I fear for my nieces. You know what I'm saying? Even my nephews. I'm fearing for them because the dating scene is going to change so dramatically because we don't do a whole lot of interacting. You know the reason why everybody gets along now? You know the reason why y'all was able to, to, to talk and to communicate the way that y'all was? Is because we come from a different school. When you talk, you know what I'm saying? When you talk to a motherfucker. How you, you doing? outside and you communicate. What's going on? You know what I'm How's saying? How's your day? It ain't no meet me on How's Snapchat. How's your mama? You know what I'm saying? And all that. No, yes. well, it, IG me, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of my DMs. It ain't none of that. It's like, yo. Chat. None yeah, of none of that shit. Let me t let's let's talk. Right. Tell your grandma so, I say hi. Yeah, exactly. But but the problem with that is everybody now is just so so disconnected. They're they're connected to something else, but they're disconnected from each other, from, from each other and from reality. So yeah. I just think that that honestly, everything. You, of course, you gonna say what's on point and whatnot because like you said you grown grown. My thing is that here are right, so let's get past that. What do you think? Where's the what is the crossroad that you worry about when you start talking about getting deep into a relationship and, and making it work where it didn't work before another relationship? Incorporating my son. You, you, my, my son right. is really not. <laughs> listen. listen. And, and right, my, right. my son, here's well, you, the thing. Nobody's you have, you have to realize you, you have a teenage, teenage boy. Here, here, no, you have a teenage boy. Right. And you're here's his the, mama. He's not going to like nobody. That's right. very true. Well, and here's the thing. So from what the gentleman told me mm -hmm. when I spoke to him, right. he said he's a protector. Okay. Okay. My son, from the conversation he has with, like, my brothers, mm -hmm. and then my brothers come back to me. Right, right. Feels like, you know, he's sort of a protector. Okay. Like he's so, is right. So he's then it would be that interaction of... And that, that, that's, that's, where it's always me that's where it's always That's where it's going to always until, be. Until right, until he feels comfortable enough mm -hmm. around. He gonna try. Person. He gonna try him. He gonna tell oh, yeah. him. Yeah, no. It, 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 listen, listen. listen. I, I done put down two stepsons. I did. I did it in a loving way both times. 
But I don't put down too well. I don't even want to say step sons, but sons of, of, of me being in a relationship with somebody. Here, right. here's, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal of, of, of kind of everything that I'm saying. Um, what it is is, and, and this is the one way that I that I know of because I've been I've been the stepson on right. several different occasions. Um, I've been. Man, what? the one who tried with my mom, I scared that nigga for a Listen, long. listen, I had been. No, you I laugh, know. You laughing at my just, mama, I don't give a shit. No, it's like, just the way you said <laughs> Oh, it's not, not so much your mama. It's just the way you said I'm it. just saying because you know it's why? Like because several different occasions. I'm going to tell you the reason why. You got because, that experience. Because, because it has been in stages. Right. I, like my, mom, my, 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 mom's got, my mom got married the first time when I was a young boy. Right. And when I say to you that I was probably, to him, it was my, my sister's father. My My... Probably the worst. I was definitely the worst stepson in the history of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like I just didn't fuck with that at all, and I didn't fuck with him like that until I, when I first when I came around to liking him, their relationship was over. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I didn't. That's how fuck. I actually liked you. you right? Yeah, you was gone. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And then so, and then um, my mom got married again. It was like, um. I wanted to kill that high yellow nigga. And the reason why is that because... Yes. Uh, when I tell you that, you will never see... First and foremost, you know what the greatest thing in the world is that when your mom show you how hood she can be. You know what I'm saying? When she when she, she floats through the world sophisticated, it's your mom, you put her on this high pedestal, and all of a sudden, you find out your mom got hands. <laughs> that shit is incredible. It's like, yo, what the fuck? But you still... Will kill a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's your mom. So the whole thing with him is that he was an Aries as well. And one thing that I can say is that I love my mom dearly or whatnot, but Aries and Cancer do not mix well at all. My mom's a Cancer. I'm Aries. It's the don't give a fuck ability of an Aries mixed with I give a fuck about everything with yeah, Cancer. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? It just it don't, don't work. It don't work. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, with them two, he's like kind of just floating through existence and whatnot, and she's concentrating on everything, and then all of a sudden they shit, you know, hit a fan, yes. blah, blah, blah. And then me and him start going at it, and I'm like, nigga, you don't want this smoke. I'm half, I'm half, nigga, I'm half your age, you know what I'm saying? And I'm twice as willing, right. you know what I'm saying? I will fuck you up in here, you like, like honestly. So, long story short, cops was called a couple times. We got out of this situation. The third time, I was grown. I had my own family. I was, I was married. I had my own family. I had my own children and whatnot. Right. And you know. This nigga, like, I just didn't think he was. I didn't feel like he was the best. But as you're, when you're grown, you want your mother to be happy. You want your mother to be happy right. as you're grown because you, you won't mature on that level. You ain't gonna take no fuckery, but you want your mother to be happy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to butt heads with it because you understand how it'll, it'll affect what it affect your mother. What it means to her. Right, right. So the whole thing is that you coming from the same cloth. I identified with you and your son a whole lot because I was an only child for 10 years. And being an only child for 10 years, then I went away to boarding school, I never really grew up, grew up with a sibling. My sister's 10 years younger than me. You know what I'm saying? So I was away at boarding school when she was a year old. Oh, by the wow. time by the time I came back, I was still we was living in the same house, but remember, I am in existence. I, right, I'm 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 15, 16, 17, 18. She's Five, six, seven, eight. So it's just a whole different thing. Yeah. I'm driving. I'm doing my thing. I got jobs and shit. I'm doing my own thing. So it's one of those things. World. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's almost like I can't. I can and it's look different at my, not being like had you stayed home. Right. Exactly. That relationship would be different. It would be different. So you know what I mean. Like a lot of times I'm get, I get. How many know, times would you date hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, right. Right. But that. But now I, as I you get escaped older, the babysitting role, nigga. I know. You I know. had the babysitting. No. You know what's funny? When I was younger, when I was when she was first. Born and she was like a year old and whatnot. That's when I was doing most of the babysitting before I went away to board school. You know what I'm saying? Because I was responsible enough to do that. But it, my thing is that give it, just give them time to come around. And then this this goes for anybody that you bring into your life. Yeah, but you but you also you gotta weird. draw the line and say, hey, guess what? You gotta you gotta you, you gotta Jody baby boy him sometimes. You gotta let him yeah. know like, look. This is my life, little nigga. He tell you. This is my life. You, you listen. You been watching the call that night. I think I had this conversation with him maybe a year or so ago. Right, right. And I was just like, "What do you think is going to happen?" I say, like, "One day you're going to grow up. Mm -hmm. You're going to move out. 
you want to have your own wife, your own children, your own family. Right. I was like, and I'm supposed to be alone forever. You know who? You know who? You, let me let me tell you. No, let me tell you. Known. You know what the worst? You know what a fuck up a marriage quicker than even infidelity? Uh, a lonely, hating ass mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Somebody's mother-in-law that 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 that. Don't like you and don't like you because or, or feels resentment towards because that's what one thing is parents we're not supposed to do and they say we're not supposed to but pe but parents sometimes come up with resentment towards right. their kids and if they're these mothers that are out here that live that single mother role for so fucking long and then they right. never got a man or they just they work relationships didn't work out part of the reason was because of the kids when they get like, older I had to check myself on that yup when they get I older and they get married and shit you gonna be on some shit you gonna be like like like, like uh, watch yeah. let Caleb walk in there and be like hey look we get married think about you know think about our birthdays when my brother Kiara right I see you know, okay. Cause her mom is one of those. That's her mom is single. Yeah. Yeah. Her mom has. She's going, she thinks she's everybody has something against every fucking body. Right, and when right. I say she keep her so fucking sheltered, mm -hmm. um, even her her older son, who you know is still a son to like son, he's still a son to me. Um, I see him here and there. I'll call or text him, check off him. He graduated high school. Right. He called me a day after he graduated. No, I actually texted me there day after he graduated. Mm -hmm. Emily graduated. No kids. They have a girlfriend. He's working. He's been working for a couple years. He's doing good. Right, right, but right. He right. knows. He sees how his mom is. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy yeah, because yeah. when I was dealing with her at the time frame, you know, she used to complain about his father not taking care of him, but living at his mom's house and right. was helping out and taking care of his niece and nephew. Okay, okay. So I tried to play a part of, you know, being a role, not right. completely taking care of him because I wasn't always there, well, but being a male, be, being, being male and, and still to this day I am for him. And it's just so sad that, you know, I'm a father who tried to be in my children's lives and this one I'm not. And this is my girl, so it's your mom who has such a negative mindset, mm. you know, and, and, and you're sheltering her, so right, all she right. really is seeing it's is going to and, and no, you're, dis you're disrespectful, I, like, she, bro, she used to be cussing her grandma and her mom the fuck out, yeah, see, like, like, they were her equals, because that's the, I think that that's the problem, rest in peace to her grandmother, though, yeah. she passed like a couple years ago, oh, but, sorry, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, but, that, but see, that's, that, that becomes a huge, huge that problem, pattern. because you don't want to, when, He's going to be an adult one day. And one thing that kids do not look at is what's going to happen in adulthood between you and your parents. You right. just think they're always going to be there in a the capacity of being a parent. But now, no. sometimes, you have to, you have to talk as an adult. I, I will say this. Me dealing with my father. Right. Completely different than me dealing with my mother. Okay. Okay. My father, I always felt... When we discussed anything, when we talked about anything, we hooked out. Hung yeah, out. yeah. He always met me at whatever age I was at. That's actually cool. So he grew in his parenting. Right. With me. So when yeah. I was 21, he dealt with me like 21. He had certain expectations of me. Right, right. At 21. Kids don't know how tough of a task something like that is. Like, yeah. I remember one time when we were talking and you said that you felt as if that you were more mature at certain points than your father. Right. Because I used to feel the same way about my mother. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you one thing where we, went, where we didn't even understand it as kids is the fact that they were giving you room to grow. Yep. Because regardless of regardless of what you thought mm -hmm. as far as their maturity goes, you couldn't you ain't mature enough to handle the shit that they have to handle with being being uh, you know I mean a parent. Yeah. Mama, you know what I'm saying? I, know be about, adults. I may be able to tell you about Why? Yeah, you know, be able to tell you about history lessons you and may, shit you well, might you not may know. Think it's real easy. Yeah, it might think it's easy, you but you have to understand. You can't the, write a fucking check and balance a checkbook and, 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 and dress process. a whole kid. Nah, you exactly. The whole management but, process of paying the bills in the right. house, making sure that I'm able to get you some of the things that you want. Yeah, exactly. While I'm getting you the things that you need. Exactly. It's exactly. Like I had my head shaved. You know, I cut my hair all off. Right, right. I, I think the last time I did it, one of the main reasons why I did it, because it costs so much for women to get her hair done, mm -hmm. is that if I can get my hair cut, right. and my cousin's a barber, so if I go to my cousin and get my hair cut, mm -hmm. that's free. Right, right. That's $30 in my pocket that I can do something for my son. Listen. 
sacrifice, 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 and that's the that's the name of the game, and that's something that we're going to have. You, you definitely you're going to have to get to the cross. Yeah. That's the name of the game. One that I tell Don that shit all the time: is sacrifice. Everything in your life is going to. Children do not sort of understand sacrifice. Oh, they will. Even athletes, they 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 kind of get it on the field or yeah. in the court, right? But when uh, it comes to life, yeah. They will though. Yeah, they, they will, oh, they're gonna have to oh, at some point, but Absolutely. you know, we look at these wait. adults who still have issues and still don't know how right. to. Um, but well, that's a whole other no, no, subject. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so let me ask that you. Next week, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's hold it. Let's, let's put a pin in that one right, right there. Let's put a pin. So, 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 all right. So here we go. Right. Check this out. I had another four. I had another four for you. Let me ask you a question. I think that a lot of times when we talk about shit, it kind of flows into the next thing that I want to talk about. And the reason why it does is because I think we be hitting it on it. Yeah, we know exactly what we're trying to get across. You know? This is the thing, okay? I was wondering, do we covet? And especially, let's, let's just leave it to black people, especially black people. Do we covet why we what we have? have? Really? No, this no, no, okay, okay. okay. Black, okay. Uh, get the uh, question uh, out. Get no, question yeah, I'm going to say, uh, let's, let's, let's broaden the range. Yeah, yeah, because you okay. want to you wanna be all inclusive and shit. Like, I mean, come on, man. I, I was just trying right, to... Go ahead. Listen, do we, do we covet what we have more than the potential that we have? Do we cover what we have now more than the potential to get more? And is it that the reason why we don't take the risk that we need to take? Um, in some ways, I might say yes. I would say yes. Um, fear a lot of times. You can is, turn that fan down too if you. Oh, no, I ain't about okay. that. Fear and right. fear is another thing that. Fear is what keeps most of us from, from pushing. Yes, forward. we have ideas. We come up with it, it's fear in us realizing that we have to be our own motivation is what keeps us from doing, from moving forward. Period. Mm. Mm. So, so but that, see, see that that leads kind of exactly what I was. The reason why I'm saying it is because yeah, that leads me back to a point of. Um, of, of fear. So what it is is okay. So we're more. Are you saying that we're more? We're scared of losing what we have. I know. With okay. So I let me, know. All right. All right. Sometimes so, it because sometimes it is a matter of risking what you have yeah. to get more. Other times there's nothing to be risked that that, that that you already have. So if there's nothing that you already have that you're risking. Right. You know. But it's all look, up, that's all up to interpretation. We're, we're, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody that ain't somebody that ain't got shit. Like okay, if you own a house. If you have nothing, then you have nothing. To lose. But who? But most people, even people that don't have nothing, don't believe that they ain't got nothing. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And I think some people be like, well, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush because you already had it. I hate that. Because all I can think about is two bushes. <laughs> yeah. So fucking Bush. I this seventies porn. I'm about to say nineties porn. porn <laughs> statement and shit. Oh my <laughs> god. Burn but the, I think people are like, well, I already have. Yeah. So why should I, you know, risk? Why should I right, risk this? What I have. Right. Right. To get more. But that get more can put you in a whole different place. Right. If you just let go and trust that. You're able to make that next step. So we do. And I'm speaking from being right. scared in in positions that I've had at what, my job. What keeps you from What keeps you from letting go and taking a leap? I remember Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey uh, says something. I read. Uh, <laughs> what, what's the name of the book? Do I, you can't say uh, his name and I'm not think about the book. What that what that family? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that meme you just said. Yeah, it's family feud. Yeah. So, but no, he so so um. Remember, he, he wrote a follow-up book uh, from for Think Like a Man, not not the other one. The, uh, it was called Think Like a Success. Right. Act like a success, think like a success. And something that he said was very, very potent in the book. He says it a lot. He said a lot on the talk show, too, that they canceled. Kind of fuck. But Kelly Clarkson, I don't even want to go. No, he, no, that's not why it was canceled. Why was it canceled? First of all. All right, let me worry. We'll, we'll go. Put a pin in that. Did you see that face? Yeah, put a pin in that. All right, so here we go. I want to understand. So, talk, so, so what he what he said, what he said was, why don't we jump? Let's get it. Yep. No, 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 no. Fuck that. You ain't scared to fall. We fall all the time. You pick your ass back up. Why 
are we scared to jump? Because people are scared to fall. Motherfuckers are still scared to fall. Just because people fall. Listen, I'm a biker. Right. So, there we live. Real bikers live by road. Yeah, you know I mean, there's the, there's two types of riders: those who bend down, those who want down. Yes. And it's just a matter of when you go down, you know, if you can, you hop your ass back up, you start your bike back up, and you ride the fuck on. Right. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm still not scared to fall again. Yeah, absolutely. But um, he, here's the problem when you're here's the problem. You see, we, the reason why I'm saying this stuff because I'm saying part of it metaphorically and I'm also saying part of it literally. When you say the bike and whatnot, it's metaphorically. That's why I give you that. It's, 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 right, it's metaphorically and it's literally, but the reason why it's literal as well is because you're still talking about ground level. Mm -hmm. You have an understanding of what happens. When you wipe out, you either get a little hurt or you get a lot hurt. Or you might not make it. Or you might not make it. All right, so that's the three that's options. The thing. Some people are scared of being hurt. Some so people, the reason why, why even... No one likes hurt. Listen, 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 most listen. people right. don't like hurt in the first place. Let me explain, let me explain something to y'all. When I when I say scared to jump, mm -hmm. when you talk about jumping, you're not talking about off the step. You're not talking about off of the top of a tree. You're talking about from a high, a high level. Right. Floor, floor, okay. Floor, roof. Right. So for the person that commits to getting up there to making that climb, when you jump, you're not afraid to fall, you're afraid start over. to fly. You're afraid to fly. People don't realize that that, in in the greatest scheme of things, that's the biggest issue. You're afraid you're that afraid you're a, you're actually going to fucking do it. Ain't that a bitch? You know why? Because it comes with a whole nother list that of troubles. That, right, that you don't know nothing about. Yeah. When Steve Harvey lost his talk show, like I said, we'll talk about it. Uh -huh. He was on TV and he cried and he sat there and he asked, why? I feel like a disappointment. You are a man that's worth $250 million. Asked, what, what did he do? Did, did, all right, explain it to me. So, short, the, short, remember the show was in Chicago. Okay, right. They moved the show to Los Angeles. Yes, they did. He didn't take anybody from Chicago. Okay. That's what it is. None, none of the staff. Okay. So. No, none of the staff. None of the cameramen. Okay. Nobody. So like they were all preparing to go. Okay. And he just why? left why? them. So I don't know the reason why he didn't take anybody mm -hmm. with them because yeah. I mean a lot of shows but but he went take. but he went to a place with a higher tax bracket and and and, and a higher cost of living to probably pay the people in LA more so i'm asking is are, are, are we saying this that it's this happened because of a discrimination thing or are we just well, saying no, that, that discrimination. or that he just wasn't fucking with the people no more i i don't know why he didn't take anybody from chicago because most of most of the years that his show was on air right Right. Was, was in Chicago. Then. Yes, yeah, I remember. And those were the people that made him. And I think when you leave everything and turn your back on everything that I don't, made, I don't, I don't like doing that. I don't, I don't, so like, I don't like doing that. that, that, like that, doing that, that. that, that, that his show lasted one year after it moved. But it wasn't, it wasn't for lack of good content. It never was for uh, lack you know of good how many content. Stop watching because of that. I stop watching. Everybody in Chicago stopped watching. Yeah. That was it. I listen. First, no, no, no. And, and it ain't nothing against Chicago. I love Chicago. My uh -huh. thing is that I'm not, I'm not going. To, and see, and this is another, this is another thing. This is another thing. Accidental karma is a bitch. And the one thing that I'm gonna say, like, so what we do is, sure, but, we'll come back home. right? But you get what you give. So I, that's the reason why I try never to crucify somebody for a decision that they made in the midst of their success. He took that leap of faith to move from Chicago to go out to LA because he wanted the show to be even bigger than it was. Right. Well, and I, think, I just, I mean, well, I, I don't it know, man. Him moving the show to LA because remember he was also doing family feud. So I think him moving to the, sh the show to LA yeah. was probably geographically easier for him to do that. So how do we fault him but how do you for that? Not so much fault him for doing that, it's how he did it. Because you have these people that have been, you fed these 
these people so to for some five degree, years. They're expecting to make and, that move with and you, they and you don't, you don't let them know okay. that it's okay. not happening. Right. That, that's all right. The, the way he didn't let them know. This uh, the, because they found yeah. they didn't find out from him. Right. Right. They found out from you know whatever uh, other you know. I, I, get, I, I get it. I just hate. I hate it because it seems like such a logistics thing to. Me. It seems like 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 we and because this is the same. But he tried. He tried the, the dynamic of the show. Right. Changed when he got to LA, so it wasn't even the same vibe that he had in Chicago. It took me a little bit to get used to. The only different. The set no, was different. It was to me. different. The, the well, first and foremost, let's 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 talk about the fact that Steve Harvey actually wanted a fucking late night show to begin with. He asked for a late night show, and he went to L.A. because he wanted to get a late maybe, night yeah, show. Maybe that's what he was trying. He to wanted do. his show to be a late night show. They wanted to put him in front of Ellen. You know what I'm saying? And like, no, you want to do you want to do the early show in front of Ellen. We're gonna show you during the daytime. See, come on, Steve Harvey's a black comedian. You know what I'm saying? He wanted yeah. to be funny, but at the end of the day, listen. One thing that I'm gonna say about this is that when you have a certain amount of success, and that's another thing, you have a certain amount. Of, you, that's what part of flying is. You have to be able to deal with these problems on the back end. Because now that you're flying, everybody ain't gonna like the way you fly. And that's the point. And everybody, nobody, because Steve Harvey been 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 criticized about the way he's been flying forever. And then they'll be like, oh well he, you know, he don't look out for his family, he don't do this and that and the third. Shut up bum asses off your own ass and get your mind right. I'm like, like the handout like, shit gets on my mean, nerves. Far, like that shit was the worst. Like they used to come as far as his family. The only people he really got to watch out for is the ex-wives, right. and not—I mean, to an extent because you divorced them, so you know, and had children with them. So, mm -hmm. little cash thing there. He took his younger son. I don't even know how he had cut. Hard. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know how his, his book. His book. That's right, 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 right. But after that, he does not, and no celebrity. You don't have to take care of anybody outside your mama and your daddy mm -hmm. and your kids and wives or ex-wives that you create. So, so all right, but this is the, right. the, here, here's the deal, though. Unpopular opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to it, it, it I, I it, yeah, right. You don't. It, it's like, unpopular I'm, not, opinion. I'm not a fan. Everybody just everybody exactly. leave. Probably everybody just leave him the fuck alone. Let him fly. Because what happens is that when you see a black man that you can identify with, that's the problem. Being identifiable is different. Relatable. Relatable and identifiable. When people think that, oh, I can hang out with Steve Harvey, you start to look at him in a certain light and say to yourself, hey, look, man, he ain't doing right and he know better than that. Like, no, nah, fuck you, man. I'm flying over here, bro. Right. Learn how to fly on your own. Don't criticize my flying when you ain't even willing to make the jump. And I think that that's what it is. You can't pick. A, you can't pick apart Oprah Winfrey for 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 not taking her fucking staff with her. Right. Come on. You can't. Even if she did, but she didn't. You wouldn't I, know. I will say she did. Oh, okay. Well, she did. Yeah. She like did. when she created right the own network, mm -hmm. like the the woman that was her. Producer right, right. on the Oprah Winfrey show for what the last 20 years yeah. is one of the producers on all the stuff that she does right. now. Yeah, yeah. I just, because like I said, there, there's a certain level, I, I, I want to say there's a certain level of loyalty. I just don't like being nitpicky. In that yeah. I don't like being nitpicky. Right now. So, I mean, like I said, so I think that, no, I think that does answer the question. I think that does answer the question. I think that we honestly do cut it. We do covet what we have more than the potential that we have in order to get. That's some that's some real shit. Do we covet what other people have? Oh, we definitely instead of going for our own. Mm, only if you experience it. Only if you experience it. If you if you haven't experienced it with anybody else has like if, if I go to a nigga that got a pool and the pool is plush, you know what I'm saying? And and I was one of them niggas that's like, man. You know what I'm saying? I watch. I can get a pool like that. You know what I mean? I experience it, and I and I, and I become uh, hyper obsessive about their pool. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna give me a pool just like that and whatnot. Then that's coveting what somebody else has. Right. But I'm like, listen, man. Like, I don't know. Just like, like we, and that's the reason why I attribute it to black people because I just don't think we do enough jumping. We just don't. Yeah. We don't. We don't do enough jumping. Because you know we're, we're not at that. How do I say it? 
we're, we're not comfortable enough with what we have to feel that if we go to that position mm -hmm. and try to fly, try to fly yeah. and maybe we fall, then we don't have anything to fall for. That's bullshit. Hey. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's the cop out. I hate that. I hate that. I hate the idea that we we are this low on a totem pole. Nigga, we like 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 we this low that if we lose the little bit that we got, we gonna be ass the fuck out. Ass the fuck out though. Come on, man. I done fell a couple times. Don't get me wrong. Like when it's good to have a support system, you can fall. You know what I'm saying? But you have to be willing, like honestly, because if you if if you willing to jump and you worry about falling, if you if you <laughs> if I will say that it's just a sin. But see that, but think about it like this. That's what I'm saying. But if you climb up high and you jump, if that, you worry, that, 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 that honestly, yo, uh -huh. and this is going into as really the mental health issue because you that, that, about fall, PTSD. that fall, right? That fall does things. Everybody can't deal with this. Everybody can't deal with a certain amount of pressure. Everybody can't deal with pre pressure. Doesn't affect everybody can't mm -hmm. deal with pressure. Period. But most so, so that fall, get a that every time. if somebody actually right. and, and 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 I've seen this in people who, who are known, yeah, who. You can look in their eyes and see where they had that twinkle, they had that, you know, yeah. and and they had a bad break of shit and it and it broke them and they got and they've been stuck in that same time period from when they had that fucking fall. I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, that's 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 kind of rough. That that is kind of rough, man. I, I we don't we, we need a better we need to figure out a better support system mm -hmm. instead of because too often than not, mm -hmm. when we fall we put the criticize, laugh, and joke and bid off a motherfucker. But that's the which, reason why. That's the reason instead why. Instead of figuring out how to, and which, uh, uh, it's sometimes because these mm -hmm. motherfuckers get haughty. Yeah. And and and, and, and their fall is because God is humbling them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Humble but still, but 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 you. but it, amen. Mm -hmm. But even with that, still we have to stop. Attacking each other. Yep. At our at e what even. What do you say about these private conversations? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just yeah, yo, right. I, I do agree though. Uh, with um, I forget what the wrong way said. Uh, happy birthday to him. Yesterday was his birthday. Yes, and, and Gary Payton. Yesterday, unfortunately, the, the God bless. Glove. God bless Marlon. Yes. Yesterday, yes. he shared a birthday with his mother. Yeah. His oh, mother okay. and his mother passed. Oh, okay. yeah, Yesterday. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, so mother she passed mother, yesterday. Mother yes. Wayne just passed yesterday. So oh, she, she died, yeah. she died on, her on their her birthday, oh, their oh, birthday. Wow. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace to Mrs. Wayne's. Wow, Mrs. Wayne brought us so much. So brought us so many, so mm. much talent. Yeah, um, I mean that is that she. They, they did Marlin, build her a statue from the yeah, different people that have been posting like to Marlon. Right, right. He always said that she was the funniest one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was. Yeah. I heard the dad. The dad, it was like, no, nah, that dad ain't funny. He said, my mom is funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's. It's crazy. like this is all mama. <laughs> But I think I will leave it. I'll leave it off with this. I don't think I think it's rough to kind of criticize people. You know what I'm saying? For what? At the end of the day, if you see me climbing high, but not, and I'm ready to take a leap. Um, if I guess what? If I fall, Please just 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 down. yeah yeah. Just notice don't that notice that I'm over here trying to fly. So exactly. So at the end of the day, when I really do fly, don't criticize my flying. And I'm not giving it a cop out. I'm not shooting Steve Harvey no bell. But it is what it is. You okay? Why you raising your hand? Jay Z said it best. What's that? Don't knock no, we. What else? What else he said? No, he, he said no, not Delta, but Jay Z also said another verse that applies so well. Or well, another bar. He said, "It asked me, oh, how you get this fly by not being afraid to fall out the sky." Hey. All right, I'm gonna leave that at that. That was a good discussion. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Good discussion. But um, you know what time it is. Without yeah. without further ado, let's get to it.
Top five, dead or alive. Yo, we need to sit up here eating gummy bear. Full me to start with top five. Yo, Kelly sends me this thing. Oh, yeah. In a group, in a group of messages, right? Yeah. With a bunch of stories about people eating. That wasn't black bars, but it was the uh, no. sugar free. No. Which one? It wasn't black bars. It, it, it was the ones just, I told you I can't eat. The any hard, black hard, 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 <laughs> and it was a bunch of people telling stories. Like if you go to Amazon. Like being on a com, um, no. <laughs> And you look up. Look up the reviews. The reviews. Niggas is funny as hell. Sugar free. Sugar free. There was a man that was on a flight. Oh. Um, get him on a flight. Kevin Hart part two. <laughs> he said that he was shitting. The one who. No. That was. That, that, some of them stories was real vivid. They, they, they were like, built like, like he was like he was like I couldn't he's like I couldn't hold it anymore or whatnot and one lady said she was driving she was like while she was driving she started shaking she's looking for a place to get out in the car but she's like because I know I'm not gonna make it home she tried to run she tried to run at the top of a driveway and there was people standing outside barbecuing and she was like fuck it and ran to the other side of the car and shit on herself I'm like yo uh, like but over I'm some to gummy tell bears you. though I'm god to tell you. damn like some reg shitty just the regular caribou. Terrible. I cannot eat them. They turn my stomach. They really do make me sick. Yeah, then there's got to be something that yeah. they put me in. The the like I sent my, if I sent my like son to the store. I yeah. just finished some dogs off like two days ago. Nigga said, this is what a nigga, one boy said on that. He said, um, he said, I, he said, I took a handful of them. I was 185 pounds. Now I'm a skeleton. <laughs> I'm like, God, nigga, you didn't take them. You took crack. Nah, no. yo, that shit is crazy. Fuck man. you, man. When I sent my son to the store. Yeah. And I was like, yo, Greg, you know, take take a dollar, grab me some gummy bears. But whatever you do, don't get Haribo. Don't do that. If I was him. I just like boy. I, I, I used to be a little trickster. I, I, would, black get, boys I would get some black forest and empty the bag out of four of the hair booze in there. <laughs> Hilarious. Nope. All right, so top Hi. five today. What is what is the top five today, Kelly? Top five today. Uh -huh. uh, your top five favorite slash most memorable movie moments. Ooh. Watch it, bitch. Oh, all right. So let's start. We're gonna start off. We're gonna start off with just high five. What's 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 your number five on on your list? So number five, right? From the movie Misery. Sorry, there was part two. When, when she hopped, so he couldn't go anywhere. And broke his ankles. And broke his ankles. I seen that movie. The movie fit in my mind. I did not want to see it at all, but I found it to be the most interesting shit I've ever yeah. seen in my life. When I finally did, I was like, "Oh shit, this is crazy." I have not yeah, seen I remember it. not. You never seen, seen it. You've never seen Misery. I have not seen it. Kathy Guess what? Bates is a is a legend. A she's a legend. This is when I found out who Kathy Bates was. Yo, she's a legend. She has been one of my favorite actresses since Misery. Yo, she's a monster. I've heard of her. But I just never. Guess what? Sometime this weekend. Watch Please watch Miss Before just before, before the weekend? next before this No, not this weekend. Monday. Yeah. Before <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna remember it if you saw it. Yeah, exactly. Before the next podcast, mm -hmm. I need you to watch Misery. Stephen King's Misery. Stephen Stephen King's King's King. I read it. I read the book. Yeah. Oh, I, read right. the book. I, see the movie. I read the book. No, the movie, this is okay, so I've read, I read several Stephen King books and I've seen all the movies. And this is the one movie. Maybe next to uh, 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 it, that is probably the my pet cemetery. The my pet no, cemetery. The remake of Pet Cemetery, the new one, I've followed the yeah, followed the book. Dude, I read the way, book. I know, just as good as the book. Yeah, just right. as good. The new one, the okay, old so one. I gotta watch the it. old one was cool, but it didn't take on the nuances like that. You remember the old man that was the old one of, did, but it didn't take on. It it, it tried. It, it, yeah, it wasn't so too many yeah. movie nuances. This one actually had it, it, it had follow the book to the follow, letter. It, it, not to the letter because it, they had to veer off because of, you know just the interest of time. You know what I'm saying? But right. but uh, um, what the hell is his name? They played the third rock from the sun. Um, the sun? Uh, the sun? Uh, I mean, oh, uh, third, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, white the, the white guy. The forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the conehead. He was in conehead. No, that's Dan Aykroyd. 
John, 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 John Lithgow. Yeah. John Lithgow. He, okay. He played, was he the grandfather? He wasn't the grandfather. He was the old man that originally owned the, the land. The cemetery. And oh, he okay. was he was the one that would he was the he was right. He was the uh, the, the graveyard specialist. Uh, he was in that book heavy. Yeah. Matter of fact, he was considered the main character yeah. in that book. They brought him in there and made him a, vi oh, okay. a, a vivid, vivid part okay. of this movie. Okay. It's a good part. You got to see that. All right, so what's number uh, four? Number okay. four. Oh, I'm sorry. I did have a... Oh, you had an honorable I had mission? an honorable mention. Oh, so right. Misery was my honorable mission. Okay, what's, what's your uh, number So, five. number five mm -hmm. is with... It's from the five herpes. No. <laughs> but no. it's a different part. Oh, I'm about to say you... When Eddie came mm -hmm. and the group broke out in acapella, right? Because the guy oh! are you going? Are you going? Are you going to break a glass? Are you, think I had to pull up my hair for you going to break the glass in this the, motherfucker? Girl, God oh, damn! When the girl in the audience just was like, "Oh, oh yeah." yeah. That she came on herself so motherfucking her, hard. His mom is in the audience like, yeah, his dad is, you know, Just his dad keep telling him you, you ain't gonna be you shit, ain't shit. You I ain't, ain't shit. No. And when he hit that note and then they start coming from the side, mm -hmm. Duck took over the piano because the dude was messing up the tempo. No, Duck took over the piano off the roof. Yeah, right. And then here come Eddie and <laughs> And it was just like and the quiet boy came in, yeah. but then how no. Uh, all right, all right, number right. number four. Keep feeding, keep going, keep going. It's a cake anime. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's love got to do with it? It's a cake anime. Now let me ask you a question. What part of? What, then she was just like this. What man was just like anime? What we just eat? That, is that more? Is that more memorable than uh, uh, the, the fight scene? No, no, yeah, I, I know the song. I got wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> what you damn anime? What you forgot the words? Of course, I know the words. I, I wrote it. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I was, I was, about the I was told I should have been on the list last week for toxic characters. Oh my god! Oh god we did actually, we did. Unfortunately, I, that wasn't a movie role. I, I that was Ike Turner. <laughs> <in real. laughs> Ike Turner. So Jesus. maybe we were like. Five real life toxic people. Then we can yeah, put Ike Turner on that list. Yeah, let's. Ike Turner number one. OJ number two. No, yeah, well, OJ number go one. Ike Turner OJ. number two. Why yeah. OJ gotta be number one? Because OJ killed, killed Nicole. Ike Turner just beat Tina ass. OJ. Remember what Chris Nicole. Rock said? Ike Turner like, damn, I could have killed Tina. What's Black got to do with <laughs> it? Yo. Oh my God. I'm done. Please go to number three. I don't want to keep talking. Number four. Number three. Number, number four. three. Number three. Oh yes, yeah, number four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three. Um, in Harlem Nights. No, no, oh, you said you had an honorable mention. Your honorable mention was my Misery was on my honorable okay. mention. She went right. She went number five. Number five was five, five heartbeats. heartbeats. Oh, yeah. Number, number four. four was Eat the Cake. Right, right, right. Yeah. Number number three. Eat the Cake. I tell her that at home. God damn it. You know, oh, I, you know. Yeah, come on, you know that. Never mind. Don't don't drag me in no. this shit. No, 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 don't, don't drag, drag me. Nothing that that shit. And number three uh -huh. is from Harlem Nights. No, you go when <laughs> after no, oh. damn it, oh. I didn't pick the <laughs> obvious ones. When Tommy, remember Tommy from Martin? Was of, course, of course. So Tommy was Arsenio Rest Hall's piece, brother Tommy. in yeah. movie. Yeah. And Arsenio Hall found his brother dead and thought that Eddie Murphy Quit. did it. Right. Kill oh him. yeah. And when they cornered him, quit shooting that last gun. Quit shooting that little quit last shoot gun. Quit shooting that last gun. Look, 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 look. Hold on, I got something for you. This is how they was loaded up. Yes. Quit uh, shooting that last gun. Pat. Quit shooting that little ass shit. I got shot in the car because oh. they were shooting at him. You made me kill my brother. You made me kill him. Oh. Alright, number oh two, you talk about that shit all day. Joe, you dead! Number two. <laughs> Y'all remember the movie Soul Food? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, so shit. Terry, Vanessa Williams' character in the yeah, movie. Yeah. You know, her 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 cousin, her whole ass cousin Faith. slept with her whole ass husband. Miles. <laughs> but then they had a family party and both of them was at the party. And she pulled the knife out. She pulled that knife out and chased his ass around that uh, party. He said this dog would look like this what the fuck it looked like. Pull that knife out, yo. That shit was. It's dope. And everybody in the party like everybody trying to back up and run. Everybody in the theater jumped too because yes. it looked like it was a 3D. It looked like the shit she was coming towards the screen with the knife. Everybody was like, oh shit. I was like, yeah. It wasn't no, like, was no butter knife. She ran out. Uh, I was a big uh, ass butcher knife. <laughs> He's about to cut somebody the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, number two. 
number one. Uh, number one, my fault, number one. Number one. Uh -huh. The movie The Untouchables. At the very end, uh -huh. Sean Connery's character was killed. Right. They go take Al Capone to court and Frank Nitti is here. Right, they put right. Frank Nitti out because yeah. he got a gun. Right, right. Frank Nitti and 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 uh What's the name of fighting on the roof? Right. He can ready to take him down, it's all good. Right, Elliot Ness. As he's going, Elliot Ness. Mm -hmm. But he's walking down and he says, Frank Nitty says to Elliot Ness, your friend died like a stuck out of his kid. Right, right, right. I remember you know what he said. And he, he's trying to be calm about it. He's like, wait a minute, what you say? He said, I said, your friend died like a stuck out of his kid. That he was. Right. And so he started walking him to the door. Mm -hmm. And then after he walked into the door, he went past the door and Frank Nitti's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then he like threw him over the over the booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he I screamed really down to him. Did he sound anything like that? <laughs> I love that movie. I love that. Was, like yeah. that's my like yeah. I will watch that dead. movie every day. If it came on every day, right, right. I will watch that movie every day. I, gotta, I, I haven't seen that movie in so long. I'm definitely gonna have to see that. All right, bro. So what's uh what's your top five? Ah, dead or alive. Mm -hmm. So I gotta do an honorable mention. All right. All right. I ain't got a fuck honorable mention. I, I got an honorable mention. I had an honorable mention. I got. I, I, it just it, it dawned on it been rolling through my head. Right. We are right. gonna take it back to how high, right? Baby <laughs> 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 Potter. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, not that one. Not that one. Which one? Sprinkle. When they fuck around and stole the motherfucking security boy, uh, when Hits stole the boy motherfucking bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. He like, Buster, they stole my baby! And it's like, bicycle, bicycle! <laughs> Yo, that's... Motherfucker get hit, Yo, that's truck cool. ran over it. Hey, where's such and such? What? Yeah. Ran back over that motherfucker. Stole it, they did steal, they stole the shit out of his bike. That was kind of fucked up, man. I felt bad for this. <laughs> For main man and whatnot, even though he ate, smoked all the weed and yeah. yeah, yeah, that was that one. But all the yeah, you used to the crazy white boy with the hair. This morning, yeah. yeah. Why? Right, what's up, uh, number five? All right, number five, number five. Um, I'm gonna go with a different aspect. This crazy. This I'm gonna go with space jam. I'm gonna go with space. All right, what's what part of space jam? I'm gonna go with space jam. Right. The end. That motherfucking last dunk. That stretch. Oh, but Mike the stretch is going on. That stretch is dunk. Yo, that was my, my shit. Man, that like that motherfucking jump man, 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 That nigga stretched that the fucking stretch jump. all the way across full court with six <laughs> aliens wrapped around him or whatnot. And threw the yeah. ball through the basket. I said, this Yo. nigga is out of control. Yes, I yes, said, whose yes. idea was that? Yes. That's crazy. All right, but, but that was some good cartoon shit. It was. It was. I, I, I love that. What's, what's your number four? Uh, Number four, uh, we're going to go the Players Club. No, we going to go to the Players Club. What part? When Diamond was whipping that bitch ass in the motherfucking dressing room, the dog Bill K. Listen! And Blue had that, I mean, and, and Jamie Foxx had to join us. Listen! Your services. Listen! <laughs> no services no more either, Blue. Ain't nobody getting in this motherfucker. Man. What's up, dog Bill? <laughs> What's up? Okay. Are, are you so big bad and tough now, huh? Oh, man. You, you know she carried my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Rest in peace, Birdie Mac. Oh, rest oh, in peace, man. Birdie Mac. All right, what's up? Uh, uh, what's up? Get out of the locker room, please. <laughs> what's what's, what what's your one? Number three? Number three. Oh, yeah, number three. Mm -hmm. Right. Number three. Um, we're going back to the five heartbeats. Yeah. Place yeah, like this. <laughs> I wish. Ranger. Ranger. With us. Uh, I am so. That's when Choir Boy went up to him and hugged him. He's like, come on. I told y'all. I, I still got it, fellas. I told y'all. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. You know, I told y'all I've never watched Flash. Five Heartbeats all the way through. Blanche, how it feels being me. When you feel. I've never watched it all the way I, I, I started um, to think about, you know, Big Red, where, you know, um, that's my favorite. No, matter of fact. That should be on Netflix. That should be on all oh, kinds of shit. Yeah. You got a fire stick. There's try, no yeah, excuse. Yeah, exactly. I'll try to find I'll try to find some. Not only not only watch no. that, but watch the making of the five heart five heart movies. Because okay. he did a documentary. He went to the movies to see it. He did a documentary on the behind the scenes on how he made the five heart movies. So how many people right. actually how many people are big celebrities right now that actually tried out for their movie? Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, number two. Number two. two, two. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a smart ass, right? Right. 
Um, the guy, this guy named Bob Sapp, I'm not sure if you all know who Bob Sapp is. Black guy, been around the news. Yeah, we know Bob Sapp. He, know, he knows who Bob Sapp Bob is. Sapp. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, Bob Sapp was known as Statowski in the longest yard. Yeah. And, um, oh. <laughs> when, um, motherfucking, when, when Bill Goldberg, aka oh, Battle, decided he wanted to, you know, talk some shit to Nelly, that's how a white man runs the football. No, that was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin. No, that was, that was, no, yeah, Stone Cold Goldberg was on their, oh, yeah. was on their team. team. Stone Cold oh, yeah, yeah, was on their team. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. That was, that was, that was. And the West End, he's like, that's how the white man yeah, 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 exactly. So, so in turn, in, 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 in no. turn, in turn, no. um, Nelly was just some certain things in him, like, uh, you know what that motherfucker said to me in the library? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He him. called me in the out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Out. That motherfucker came through thinking he was going to run up that motherfucking middle again. Uh-huh. That motherfucker clotheslined the shit out of that motherfucker to the point that he shit, shit on himself. himself. Yes, he shit himself. <laughs> 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 he shit himself. Right? Like the like he the announces himself. everybody. I think like, he shit himself. Yeah, he shit himself. I think I made him shit himself. I got what? That's my shit. I love that movie. I love that movie. I love that movie. Didn't right. I say that was one of my favorite yeah. movies? Yeah. And number one. What's no, your number one? Number one. 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 We gotta go to a motherfucking ghetto classic. I wanna say this shit came out like nine four nine five. Uh -huh. One of the first best motherfucking black movies by producer, rapper, actor, Q Vision. Uh -huh. Certain scene on Friday uh -huh. where you had the cause they had the in the first in the in the very first thing is when he was getting ready to shoot people. Right, right, right. Because when we all watched it for the very first time, he shot his ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the powerful message that he had in there. Right. Was him turning around and not shooting. Right. Putting that gun down. And fighting like and a beating his He got his ass whipped too. Yeah. But he ended up knocking that nigga the fuck out. And he hit him with the brick. So what part yeah, is the hurt. brick? The, 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 the most memorable part was like, actually to me, what, what, what stuck to me the most was him, him, actually, him actually not shooting him. Okay. And, and actually winning that fight and knocking that nigga the fuck out. Yeah, that was, a, that, that was actually a good look. No, I knew you hear his dad in the he, voice he, like. He, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. And, and, and it's a lesson for, I hope more of this generation will see that lesson that he was trying to put. Put your fucking guns down. Put your guns down. Put up. Act like a man. Fight like a man. Act like a man. I mean, a what weapon is, that, is a what weapon. What did his dad say? You know what I mean? You, you, you like live. You fight with your hands, you get to live another you, you, day. Yeah, yep. You, you, say, yep. you, you win some, you lose, you lose some. some. Yep. But you live, you fight right, another day. Yep. That's, that's that. that and with a lot of things that's been going on, the continual drama, violence all around the world, that was what I think needed to be ended off with as yeah. my top, my number one. No, absolutely. My absolutely. key moment. Yeah, I mean, because... You got somebody you want to beat the fuck up. All right, we get it. We, we had to say, yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna dignify what you just showed me because I don't even give a fuck and I wouldn't watch that shit first and foremost. Them two rebels the the ain't got 10 hits. I don't even know what the fuck you talking about. What the fuck was they talking about? Ashanti versus Keisha Cole versus Ashanti that. accepted Keisha Cole versus uh, Cattle. Ashanti only got five songs <laughs> that all, are all say baby or entitled baby is. Listen, baby I'm, all through the chorus. We not doing baby this. through the lyrics. We in the middle of the top five. Yeah, we not doing this. What's your top five? My top five What's is. Your top five? All right, I ain't got no honorable mention. Number five, taking it back to where we just left off and whatnot, but it was probably about a half hour before the scene you just said was the, <laughs> was, was the Craig and Smokey shootout. Oh, my God. Oh this nigga, he walked outside the house, right? He was like this. You see him? He's like, man, ain't nobody even out here. Like, right, fuck but me. I don't know why but niggas want to fuck with the smoke dog. No. Hey, man, who's that? And then the music <laughs> came on. It ain't them niggas in that car. He's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> and a nigga, yo, you don't know who you fucking with, baby? It's Smoke Dog, baby. And you're shooting at the roof. As soon as he lifts up, they actually lit up one shot, shot back. Ah! Nigga jumped on the show. When, when, when I first saw Friday, I was home from boarding school. And it, I had it on, rented it on VHS. I watched it six times in one night. <laughs> and also, oh I kept rewinding that part. I could not stop laughing because I thought it was the funniest shit I had ever seen. How they was strolled outside and they thought they was they thought they was cool and whatnot.
to a 12 year old man that was the funniest shit i ever seen in my life i was dying all right number four all you motherfuckers i'm putting cases on all you niggas you motherfuckers think you can do this to me you motherfuckers that be playing basketball and Pelican Bay when I get through with you. 23 hour lockdown. Shoe program, nigga. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? King. I'm the police. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and walk away. Goddamn right, I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> Yo, Denzel, trade a day. Yo, Yo, so I thing. love that fucking scene, man. That, yeah, like, that shit was improvised. I, most of it was. Yeah. All that was Denzel. Somebody, you know what, I'm not even going to change the subject. Somebody said that they felt like, I heard, as a matter of fact, I think I heard it on another podcast, they said that he felt like Will Smith was a better actor because Denzel, for some, he just is Denzel everywhere. Will Smith is Will Smith. Yeah, no, but Will Smith has played an African guy. He has yeah. played, yeah. he has played an a alien. He has played different types of... He played Ali. He played, uh, what you uh, call it? After um, Earth. Yeah, After Earth. What's and the other fucking joke? Like but they were aliens. They were they not? Yeah. I thought no, they okay. wasn't. Was, are they all the way? They was all the way human? Well, I thought they might have been humanoid. Um, all right, well, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm just saying, like, like I, I think to be honest with you, I'll, I'll give ha half of. Google, I mean, you know, I'm a Will fan. I'm yeah. Will, but maybe early Will. I th early I performances I think, were no, I think the range was always good. The range like, of the performances that they had Will that Will has done is definitely a little bit rangier. The the movie roles are are rangier for Denzel. But the role the role that's played in the movie, like Will played Ali. Now yeah. Denzel did play Malcolm, mm -hmm. but you still you gotta understand see, though still there's Denzel. something about Denzel that that's still always Denzel. Denzel. Even Booker Eli, there's something about Denzel. Yeah. Even fucking uh 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 um uh, uh, what the fuck is the name of the movie with the, um, Equalizer? Equalizer. Equalizer. Both of them. There's still something about it that's Denzel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I understand. There's still something about him that's embedded yes. in the role. Yeah, that yeah. That makes that role perfect for him. You have to actually take Denzel. It's not a lot of transition. Right. You know that you want Denzel in the movie when you're making a movie. You say, okay, this movie, Denzel needs to play this guy. Nobody else plays Denzel. I, I, what Denzel? The TV show The Equalizer was one of my favorite shows back in the day. Right, right. And I just really vibed with him yeah. being like the no, it was a good, Equalizer. It, it was, it was a, like it was a good fit. Definitely a good, good fit. fit. Definitely a good. And fit. I like to see an older because mm -hmm. they put Tom Cruise in everything. So I like to see an older brother. Oh my gosh! If and they put I mean, Tom like, Cruise in one more bullshit. They, they, when I say he's knocking motherfuckers out, yeah, I love it. Yeah, I yeah. Love it. My number three, three is, and we have to clarify something from last week when I listened back to it too. One of your movies that we were talking about, you said Men in Society, you said John Singleton or John no. Singleton did, did it. It was, it was the Hughes Brothers. Hughes, 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 Hughes Brothers did, did that. John it Singleton did uh, um, uh, Boys in the Hood. Hood. Yeah, in Poetic Justice. Um, it's when Kane dies. Yeah. Men in Society. That's the. There was not a thought, or first and foremost, that movie came out, what, 90, 92? Yeah, 91, 92, mm -hmm. 90, something like that. It's one of them. So, I want to see it with my mom, and when he gets shot, there's no way that he lives. And you understand, he's running to try to grab the, the uh, Jada's son, little Anthony, off the bike, off the little, little scooter. I, the only thing I kept saying to myself, the bullets wasn't hitting the young boy, you really didn't have to grab him off the bike. <laughs> but... That was a whole nother thing because they probably would have kept shooting. So, but him running and just, it was so vivid. That was like the first thing I remember seeing in HD and it just looked so real when the bullets was hitting me. I mean, they was lighting his yeah. ass up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that was just like, and it was one of the first movies that stuck with me. Even, I mean, Boys in the Hood stuck with me. But what you want me to understand is that Trey was the star of Boys in the Hood, yeah. not Ricky. So, therefore, it was different. You know what I'm saying? When uh, but when Kane died, I was like, damn. Now this is that was a heavy ass message. So that was one of my shit. Um, one of the what you call it? I play it every week. I play it every week because this is my number two. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I say, who's the man? I was just looking at this shirt. You so. say. Okay. All right, B-Boy. Who's the one and only Malcolm? I am. I am. I am. I am. Listen, I am. listen. 
listen, you ain't see, you ain't been a part of. I wish I was old enough to go see them in the theaters. I probably was real little when that came out. You don't know the type of shit that you I that get pumped. That, that that gets you pumped when you see. He, I mean, showing up was whooping his ass. Showing up caught that evil glow. He was whooping his ass, yeah. and all of a sudden. He put his head in that water and he started thinking about vanity and, and his little yeah. brother getting knocked out and all this other shit. Sir, and he came about what his and, master was saying. And he wasn't struggling no more. He came up with that blank look on his face like, all right, Leroy, who's the one and only master? He looked at this nigga like, ah, yeah. yeah. Show up with snapping like, ah, I'm like, yo, I love it, man. That was he went to punch him. He grabbed his hand. Yup. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was my favorite. Started giving him that work. And the number one. I think this is one of the most classic movie scenes of all time. Nope. But Neo dodges the bullets in Matrix. Yo! Uh, come on! First and foremost... That's why you called me the Matrix. First and foremost... <laughs> yeah, you know. First and foremost... Yes, exactly. First and foremost... You ain't dodged that water bottle. The, first and foremost, the <laughs> Matrix... Is in my car right Let me get that! <laughs> the, the Matrix is probably one of the, one of the greatest... Damn right. One of the greatest action movies ever. But it's also probably one of the greatest movies ever. The moment that he... This is the moment that he really started to realize he was right? the one. Yeah, they got doing the Matrix 4. Yeah. He, when he shot the bullets at him and whatnot, and he was moving around, and he was just like, he started, he, he was like, she was, no, because Trinity said something to him, she said, I ain't never seen nobody move that fast. You move like they do. He was like, well, I ain't move fast enough. They still, you know, they shot me a little bit. And then after that, he just, he was like, it was like growing and growing and growing. Like the other scene, when, when, when he realized, when he turned to fight him, you know what I'm saying? In the subway, because he knew he could finally beat him. It was like it was just different. But that dodge and the bullet scene, they used that shit for like 12 years after yeah. that, on everything. So yeah. I think that that was one of the. Even that's like, my class. I know like dancers who use it and call it they classical. They 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 they, they go to move. That was the, the Matrix. Matrix. The Matrix. Male and female dancers. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you could do that physically, you know, you got a lot going on. I've been. But told. that's that thing with Lawrence Fishburne when he taught him how to do it. He's like, what yeah. are you doing? He's like, I'm trying to hit you. Stop trying. Not Hit me, me and hit me. And hit me. Yep. Stop trying Drop to fly down. and fly. Stop Ooh. trying to succeed Ooh. and succeed. Drop that bomb. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to succeed and succeed. Stop, stop trying to start a pot. Stop trying to win and fucking Just win. Just fucking do it. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Period. Thank you. I, I love that. I love that. Uh-huh. But uh, that leads me directly into the naked truth. I got the days on. That, matter of fact, that was part of my naked truth. Drop another bomb. Bomb on him. Bomb, bomb, bomb on him. Another bomb on him. Yo, what you call it? I, I don't know. I think my, a lot of my naked truths have been very, very motivational as a lady. Because I'm in a really good motivational space. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a good motivational space. I feel like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm doing what I love and whatnot. Find a time in order to make it work. And um, you know, just getting some shit and getting where I'm getting in where I fit in. I'm actually, you know, well, it's it's good when you're in a position where you like your life. You know what I'm saying? When yes. you start to write shit, you're like, ooh, this is this is this is pretty good. This is this shit is working out. You know what I'm saying? So let's just stay the course. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like I said before, man. I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm doing it. That's the naked truth. But um, you know, we always do this. Without further ado, it's about to I know what you're asking yourself, and the answer is yes. I have a nickname for my penis. It's called the Octagon, but I also nickname my testes. My left one is James Westfall, and my right one is Dr. Kenneth Noisewater. If you ladies play your cards right, you just might get to meet the whole gang. What you got for this week? Hey, um, hey Jim. you know what's crazy? I've been sitting here debating whether I was going to tell the situation of the, uh, the husband putting the condom on my penis when you fuck his wife. Whoa, or, whoa, or, or about, what? Or about the solo pool situation? No, you're not just going to no, breeze past no. the man putting the condom. Did you see how he tried well, to ice skate? Past yo, there? what the fuck? Falls no home on. Not in the. Not in the. Not in the. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Not, the, not in the physical way, in the mental way. Nigga, okay, you better you explain. Understand what I said, what I said earlier, shit. and y'all stop 
It said clarify for me. Please clarify. Clarify. For clarify. Me. Not in the actual physical aspect, but in the uh, metaphorical sense of a man actually recently putting a condom on my penis to me to fuck All right, all right. Please let's talk. Please let's talk. Let's tell that story. We gonna, we gonna tell that story? We're gonna tell that story. We're gonna tell, tell that, that story. Yeah, yeah, you can't just breeze past that shit. Cause like, you know, you know, you know, like, you ain't hear what the fuck you said. He, he turned around and got like drink. He got, he, he, he became a vision again. He started doing vision. He started doing vision again. Cause uh, he got frustrated. Yeah. Um, because he fucked up. Right. And that's why I made the statement of him basically putting the condom on my penis so he can fuck his wife. Mm. No homo. Oh, um, it's just to the left turn. Yeah. Okay. He, you, I know, did. you know. Exit <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, I could, yeah, you know what, yeah, let's go on. All right, let's I'm talk. I'm going to go with it. Right. Um, long story short, you no, know. No, that is perfect Hey, hey, hey. So, you know, so, I'm trying to think of the easiest way of sparking this. Mm. Straight up the middle? Mm. All right. <laughs> Straight up the middle. Oh. Long well, story short, I ended up doing a bachelorette party um, some years back. Uh -huh. Um, when I did it, have fun afterwards, you know, congratulate the bachelorette, you know, wish the best one, you know, a ceremony of coming and everything, you know. And when she explained, you know, that she had called off the wedding, but, you know, family encouraged her to go back through it. So, I said, still, you know, you want to with it, you know, wish you the best. If not, you know, wish you the best regardless. Mm -hmm. Time goes by, she pops up, you know, at an event later on. You know, not even a regular event, but at a uh, community event, the light night on. Um, but that's really good. But, uh, so now she's, you know, they married, but, you know, he done fucked up again. Mm -hmm. You know, but they still trying to work, but he's controlled. Mm -hmm. So now she's chasing. Walking to a bit, she, 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 she chasing me, yeah. But, but I, I ain't even got no bait on the hook, but she trying to hop on the hook. Pause. Boom. Mm. All right? Long story short, I walk into a car because she was, you know, tell she had nothing. I would just make sure she could get safe. So as we talk, and she's inside of here, going to the girlfriend, you know, mm. pull up. Mm -hmm. Husband, pull up. Uh -huh. Yo, that's my wife. Okay. I was just trying to make sure she got to the vehicle safe. Pull up. I go back to the spot where I'm at. Did none of it. We could so go by. She hits me up in the inbox. Yo, I want to apologize. Da, 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 da. I say, listen, it's understandable, that's your husband, you know, and, you know, he got his way to do it. You know, if you're not happy, you know, you know what you have to that's do concerning that. That's yeah, your absolutely. situation. I got my home, I got my situation. I ain't even trying to have this move. Right, I was right. already drunk. Right. So fast forward, she started popping up at shows now. So she pop up and shows, and this is how she initially knew me, but the same, the other place she had popped up, she kind of knew me from that aspect too. So now she popping up and, you know, and she's on her chase. She's on, she's on her chase. Right, right, right. She's on the chase, you know, so time go by and I turn around and, you know, I go, I, I, I go rapper in one sound. After I go rapper, maybe a couple days later, I get an inbox from her husband. From her page. Oh shit. So I say, listen, I can't continue this situation. You know, I was wrong in the first place. You know, I wish you the best for the situation out, whatever, whatever. Mm. She continued pursuing, pursuing. Can we at least be friends? Uh, I don't even think that's smart. Let's be honest. Um, right. But, you know, here and there again, she still want to pop up, here and there, pop up, hit me through different apps, whatever, pop up. Um, and, Maybe a year later, I go I go rap for the situation again. I ain't gonna hold, you know, late night situation. And I'm right, right, right. And, and, and I'm I'm in the heat, you know. So you know, I go rap for the situation. Um, but afterwards, again, I get an inbox, and it's from a different site. You right, know what I mean? Right. From him, like a couple of days later. Right. You right. know, and it ain't confirmation that he knows something happened, but he got he he on he he sniffing out shit. Right, right. So right. it's like, listen, I can't even do that with you. You know, I don't even think it's good we be friends. I cut, you know. Cut it off. Still yeah, with, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm cool. So here and there, she would still hit me for other services, other business services. Right. Um, so I would take care of that occasionally, but even with that, I'm, I'm really cautious. Um, so the last time she came to me for other business services, we grabbed, we busted up. 
she thinking it's gonna be more. I'm, I'm in my mindset like, nah, you know, I know already, in my mindset, I know I shouldn't have did it the first time, let alone second time. I ain't gonna be a dickhead and put my dick in the third time. Nope, nope, you know what nope I mean? do it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. And she get ready to leave, who walks up the street? And mind you, this down my neck of the woods. Mm, uh-huh. It's her husband, you oh, know? Shit. So now you, you, you being track tracked. You're being track tracked. Your husband, right, right. He, he, he's, he's tracking you. Right, he's on your head. He's tracking he's you. So, um, I cut all communication. Okay. Complete everything. Smart. You know, smart, smart. Don't, don't text me, don't yeah. hit me anything. Right. You know, I didn't even block my pages. At all. But yeah. exactly, just yeah. smart. go about smart. your business, I'm going to go about mine. And right. that's how right. I felt it was. Right. And so, I randomly get a call a couple months later on down the road mm-hmm. from the husband. Oh, shit. Yo, this is such and such, such and such husband is not, 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 Oh, I know a lot of people by that name. Well, uh, <laughs> anyone in particular? You got to be specific. <laughs> you my know, nigga. he's like, he, he, he like, no, it's such and such. I say, my man, with Dick the Move, right? Because I'm actually entertaining you right now. Um, you're saying you're calling me about your wife. You shouldn't be calling me about your wife. Because I already finished her. But I don't even go there, alright? <laughs> I'm playing. I'm keep. I know I did. But ultimately, you will let me know that you don't know if I did or not, and that's question. Trying to find out. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. So you're busy trying to bake, but you ask me, do I want your wife? And I'm telling you, that's your wife. Why would I want your wife? Why are you calling me asking me if I want your I got my own queen at home. I got my own, you know, home home foundation I need, you know, I worry about. So right. I'm not concerned with you and yours. Mm-hmm. You know, I move. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You need to deal with yours. Don't call me. Right. So he hit me with the, well, I ain't calling on the gangster, but you know, we can get to the gangster. And I did this amount of time, and now that, 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 that. I say again, my man, you calling me about your wife. Right. Why? Right. Yeah, exactly. Why? Why? Um, And, and then the Control conversation, because she, 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 she in the background, so he actually, I hear him actually start to get physical with her. They've right. been arguing back and forth in the background. Right. Now I actually hear them get physical. So I hang the fucking phone up. I don't want I don't want to I don't condone that shit. I'm not, yeah. I don't want to be no parts of that. Oh, uh, that's tough guy. I wanna hit a woman. So so of course, I I don't even know block his number. Right. He don't he does what I expect his dumb dickhead ass to do. He calls me back five, ten minutes later from her phone. Right. Okay, I'm gonna answer this shit too, dickhead. Yeah. Cause now I'm gonna piss you off. Right. You know, uh I'm going to kill her and I'm going to kill you tonight. My man, are you really serious? Man, you ain't going to kill nobody. Click. So I block both numbers. But before I even block his joint, I get a crazy ass, you know, short story text from him. Mm-hmm. A whole short story. A dissertation. Listen, a baby dissertation. I'm like, are you, uh, it's, it's, it's more than one paragraph. It's good. I'm like, oh, are you serious? Man to man? No, it. it Hmm. You, I mean, can I tell you how this the part of the dissertation went? Oh, it was my baby, my fucking cinnamon apple, and you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked my cinnamon apple. I'm sorry. Yo, no, I'm just here with you. No, real shit though. He hit me with some. You know what I mean? Like, why couldn't you have just fucked her and left her? You know what I mean? Why did you have? To, why did it have to be more and this? Th- it that wasn't was more. Extra wife. So, but see, here's the thing. She's told him that nothing happened. Right. So she's playing that role. So. The next morning, I get an apology. I get an apology from her via text, via app. I don't respond to either. Right. I leave it alone. Two days later, this shows the level of, and this for those people who've seen that post I put up like some time ago, of bitch assiness of Negroes. <laughs> bitch assiness <laughs> of, of, of Negroes. Bitch assness. This motherfucking bitch-ass-ness. male. Uh-huh. Decided to man. male, male. Right. decided to sub to, to seek out find out who my queen is to inbox my queen from a fake page. Who has that kind of time? From a fake page. A fucking psycho stalker. Not not a real like, page. Not his mind. real page, but inbox her from a fake page mm. with you know screenshots of all our correspondence and everything the fuck else and whole bunch of goofiness. Are you serious? If you gotta do this shit, bro, this is not your girl. No when did when she did she belong to the streets, my nigga? She belongs to the motherfucking streets. 
If you gotta do this, you that's not your girl right. no more. What she, the fuck are we yo, talking about? In the joints, like, cause even the missus, this nigga don't even know he thinks I'm into his crib. I'm not that disrespectful. <laughs> Oh. She got a hand on the mic. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Keep your hands ooh, down. Ooh, Keep ooh, your hands ooh, down. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 but, like, ultimately, Yami mean, doing hit me with some other goofy shit, Texas, and he been playing on my phone. Like, like he started playing on my phone. When the when the do when the men males start males. playing on, on on phones? I didn't. Oh, 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 when did yeah. males start reaching out First to all, females with fake pages? Dude, like, what the what the fuck is going? I've never heard of guys playing on a girl's phone. Man. Girls playing on a guy phone, yeah. yeah. I've never, never heard of a guy playing on a girl's phone. Because masculinity is not is not a prerequisite of. of that doesn't going flow from testosterone. Shit. Yeah, it just doesn't at all. That, that doesn't flow from testosterone. That's not part of that, man. Just we don't, because we don't you move grew up, up didn't mean you grew up. Yeah, but the fuck growing did you up, grow up? Not young boys well, not, know, shouldn't even be doing that shit. Grow up, but you didn't become a man. Well, that's a whole other idea. I wonder if he still sits down to pee. Probably. Ooh. Probably. Like, Probably. I mean, but, 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 long story short, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, hey, yo, what the fuck? I'm, 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 Stand up, nigga. I'm currently someone in the doghouse, I guess you could say. Right. You know, because, you know, he done alerted. And I actually, instead of being a regular, being a nigga mm -hmm. and denying, which I could have denied, I acknowledge to mine, yo, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah, you know I mean, I go rap with it twice. I fucked up. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, it's been some time frame. Yeah, you know I mean, this is that and the other. There was some time frame in between each of the times, so you can't say it was I was fucking her. I just fucked her twice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I can't even say I was cheating because it was just a nut bust twice no. in two different times. Yes, um. Yo. <laughs> Don't judge me the way I flip. I'm about to say whatever, whatever, whatever helps you sleep at night. Like, I don't fucking know. You know, but but, I, but ultimately. Men grow up. Yes. Not, it, 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 mm. For a man to be chasing after a man who fucked his wife and left her, and you. Nigga, it wasn't. If you didn't put the condom on my dick, I wouldn't have fucked her. No. And that's what I meant from the beginning statement earlier. And that has been another tale from the industry. Can I just cap it off with something or not? Yeah. Um, we talked about it before. That kind of goes to show. Guess what? If your girl is fucking another nigga, do not approach the nigga. Never. I don't understand how many times that happens. No, it's even worse. Hold on. The no. She told him as well as my lady. Some other woman. Right. Don't don't have beef with the woman. Because it the ain't. Point. It ain't that. It's, your it's, mate is who your deal, issue deal should be your with. House. Deal with your household deal because she the house. one that's cocking her knees up and letting this nigga go to town. That's the point. He, she, he, she's taking, she's giving him a, a fucking free pass to Pound Town, and then you mad because she, you mad at him because he took it. Sorry, my nigga, get your bitch in check. Yep. That's, it's not even, and I hate what, what happens is that everybody feels like it's gangster to say some shit. It's not gangster to say, it's the truest shit ever. Deal with your mate. Your mate is the one that's giving it up. It's not a mindless fucking stupid person that I you didn't that make you the vow to. I didn't make the vow to his wife. Exactly. You right. made the vow to your wife, your wife yeah. made the vow to you. Yep. So y'all issues yeah, are, are y'all issues. Yeah. You know, I got now, thank you for giving me issues to deal with at home. Bitch, it. bitch ass nigga. But guess what? I'm a G ass nigga and I'm a deal with it like yep. a G ass nigga. Cause yep. that's what G's because do. you're a man. I think what it really was, I think what really pissed him off is when he yeah. seen the motherfucking pictures because it was a big picture in there. I think that really just fucked his whole, that just yeah. fucked his whole, it, I killed his pride with my, yeah. mom, sorry, my penis was yeah. more yeah. photographic than yours. He probably was full of the type, but you tell, you do, oh, wait a minute, or the fact that she had a pic of somebody else's penis in her phone, in general. It could have been anybody's penis, but no, it was I, in her phone. No, nah, 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 it was actually it was actually on the app. It was it was but yeah, I mean it, it was it was from a, in in, the, in you know in the DM. But yeah, oh my they God. killed him. I, I, and then of course, my scene like nigga, I know you're tattooing your on your, your you, stomach, nigga. And I, Fuck, you, I, I know that shit. That nigga was saying, Yo, right. now nah, he here with the yeah. I'm pretty sure you know your man's penis. She looked at him like she said, "Listen, my response was I'm up." Like you sending me all this shit, you expect me to be mad? You expect, yeah. you expect her to be all mad? Of course she was mad, yeah. but you saying goofy shit to try to make it worse. 
Ain't nobody mad at people this situation. People on shit. Him. People pay attention to shit, and people take care of this shit. Ain't nobody mad at the situation in him or whatnot. But bring, yeah. He better get his life together. Fuck that shit. Bring the room down. Fuck these bitch ass niggas. Anyway, we back to party. And we got three hours this some motherfucking change. Yeah, you know I mean, to the turn up gonna be real motherfucking real. Oh, now we Realer than real. Okay. We gonna bust up. All right, well let me um. Sporty forty gonna be the thing. Give them shout outs though, bro. Yeah, let me give these shout outs real quick, man. Let me give these shout outs real quick so you can get your ass on the road, my nigga. Yeah. Uh, 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 shout out to the Spotify listeners. Shout out to the Apple Podcast listeners. Shout out to the Google Podcast listeners. The Stitcher listeners. Yep. Anchor, home team listeners, and the YouTube viewers. Make sure you get what it's selling. IG at Mr. Underscore Know It All Underscore Pod. On the Facebook fan page at Mr. Know It All Podcast fan page. We talk our and shit. Please send us your fuckery, duckery, and schmuckery over to the Gmail at Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. Again, it's Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. Once again, this episode has been brought to you by Blue Chew. Chew, chew blue, chew it, do it dot com backslash know it all. If not, <coughs> bluechew.com promo code know it all. <laughs> chew it and get this screw in. Yeah, man. I don't listen. Niggas better find you find the bottles this weekend now. Yo, yeah, Even we if we ain't in the same place, you gotta yo, find we know, the uh, I am gonna do a cookout tomorrow at the house. Oh, and you then, and, yeah, I ain't gonna do a cookout tomorrow at the house. Um, and then we all gonna uh, be paintball on Sunday. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we can definitely paintball Sunday. I gotta, you know, I got a party to go to tomorrow though. I got a graduation party to go tomorrow, but I'll stop there. I think that's a lot It ain't gonna be that big of a bottle. Yeah, bottle. I still, yeah, I got my only bottle I got right now is the bottle of White Hennie. Yeah. I gotta grab something else. Alright, that's good shit. Well, well I got the bottle of White Hennie for the birthday. The birthday? Yeah, I got the bottle. Yeah, you I got, got the White Hennie? I still got this one bottle. Yeah, George, nigga, I keep going. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I, guess what, what, I guess you got it. Yeah, I guess you got it. What, what, birth, what birthday have I not had at least one bottle of White Hennie? That's true, that's true. This is, this, this is a big one. So, on behalf of my constituents, yo. Yes, yes. For their birthdays tomorrow. Hey. Hey, Jill. And, and three hours and some motherfucking change. Uh-uh, 2.45. Oh, 2.45. Oh, I'm going to get back to checking on my Susu. Woo. You know what I'm saying? And try to convince them to get into it. If you don't know it, you better ask one. somebody. Better ask somebody. What on behalf of my decisions? constituents, I'm Mr. Know-It-All. Yes, sir. Yeah. I ain't bored Ruffy Hendrix. Oh. She's dickmatized already. No, I'm Winston. 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 I'm